Hey, and here we are. We are hey. flipped over. We are live. I hope y'all like that new transition we had. Shh, little meteor coming coming your way. Uh, yeah, uh, we've also updated some other scenes, like the stream starting soon. Just trying to make everything a little more cohesive, part of the whole picture. Thank you for joining us on a, what freaking day is it? Oh, it's a Thursday. <laughs> on this Thursday, uh, morning, afternoon, night, you know, all the same thing. But yeah, we're going to build a fun app, uh, and I am excited because this is the start of something freshy fresh. Demetrius Clark in the chat. Let's go. Thank you for joining us. Yeah, <laughs> got to get that out there. Yeah. Um, yeah, so thank you for joining us, y'all. Trevor, how's it going, man? It's going pretty well. Um, I got a, I, I, I have a, I, admittedly, uh, I have a splinter in my thumb, so oh, that that's no. like... The only the only thing that's that's holding me back right now is Man. a split. It's actually like a thorn in my thumb. I, I was picking blackberries and I I went I got a little little uh, deep in the blackberry brush oh, and, no. and got a uh, you know and it, and it won't come off. Little, little in the thumb. Uh, it's it's on its way out. My my thumb is like like pushing it out you know how it how it oh do. i know how it do yeah yo first real quick coops 45 what's up how's it going lead hey how are you we're doing pretty well hope you are tool coops 45 also wants to know how was your week off trevor and what's up patrick oh xander <laughs> in the chat too what's up everybody thanks for joining us what's going on xander uh yeah maybe 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 the the melee is actually the thing that's pushing it out of my thumbs <laughs> that could be possible and yeah. uh and coops yeah uh Thanks, man. Uh, the week off was was pretty good. I, I it was last week, um, but I really enjoyed it. Thanks for asking. Heck yeah, yeah. Week off is always good, right? That's my feeling. Yeah. Yeah. Usually. Usually. <laughs> I mean, I guess it could be bad under certain circumstances, but like for the most part, I love having time off. <laughs> it's like vacation's good. Absolutely. I feel like I don't take enough vacation though. I'm one of those people that's like a vacation for sure and then i never do i was surprised i actually took a week off after summit i impressed myself i didn't really do anything you know no johns i don't know what that means rule number one no johns what is what is that that's a uh it's like a rule of melee oh, uh, melee. A john, oh the, game. the context of, of melee yeah. is uh is like an excuse got it so like uh when when you when you like lose a stock and yeah. you're like oh man like my hands hurt or you, or like I was distracted or the sun was in my eyes or my controller was in my eyes or something like that. Oh, I see. I see. Got it. Those are all jumps. That's hilarious. What's up, Vish? How's it going? Thank you for joining us. Yeah. So should we, I guess maybe should we talk about what we're going to do today? Yeah. A little yeah. Bit? Let's do it. Yeah. So we're starting a new project, Freshy Fresh. Um, which is always fun. And we're going to build a kind of like a collaborative, interactive uh, soundboard app, right? You got it. That's the, that's the, that's the goal anyway. Yeah, that, that's, that's the, the goal. Dream. Oh, thank you, Chris. Thank you for the shout out for my hair. Look at how blue it is, y'all. It's so blue. <laughs> it's awesome. Yeah, faded to a real nice blue. I'm going to try and keep it this way for quite a while. It looks like silk yeah it's so shiny it is so shiny i'm i'm using this new pomade stuff and it really gets the 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 luster the shine going so okay yeah, yeah. i'm pretty excited about it thank you Vish. <laughs> Vish also I remember we we spent we spent like a good maybe like three minutes talking about pomade yes, on, on we the did. last stream of orbit yes we did yeah. Ooh, uh chris said he's ready for your dye job when is that <laughs> coming and i second that Good question. Yeah. Yeah. What, what color are we going to do? Ooh. We were just talking about, uh, I, I was, I, I was just talking about wanting a pink hat. Next live stream. Uh, <laughs> you know, maybe right before the stream started, maybe, maybe the, maybe it's pink hair. Yeah. Pink hair, white hat. P Boom. Pink hair. Don't care. I love it. Yeah. Pink hair would be good. I did pink. It was a lot Green. of fun. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Green is good. Green. Might... I like pink though. Pink and a white hat. I love that. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yes, exactly, Dom. Uh, <laughs> uh, control my eyes. 
Uh, yeah, so I guess we'll talk a little bit about this app. Um, yeah, I'm still stuck on hair though. Like, I really want to see you dye your hair now. I can't get over this. We'll see. Right. We'll see. We'll long, see. Stop going. Yeah. Long story short, it's going to be uh, a little mini series. You know, it'll probably take us about you know anywhere between four or six actual uh, episodes to get it done. We're thinking we'll spin up a GraphQL API, right? and get that kind of set up and working it's going to be open no authentication which means guess what chat you'll be able to spam the crap out of us once we have this up and running and we try out the soundboard so we look forward to this mm -hmm. uh yeah and uh yeah so then we're going to build a little front end we're going to get a, a soundboard going with uh josh comier's use sound hook so we'll beep, all kinds of cool sounds we'll pick those out i have no idea what sounds we're going to use prs prs are always welcome always welcome um, yeah, and then, uh, yeah, we're going to just, you know, kind of see where we go from there, right? Does that sound good? Sound pretty jiving? Yeah, that's, uh, that, that pretty much sums it up. I, I think, like, the, the, the cool thing about this app and, and the, um, kind of the motivation to go in this direction is that we want to experiment with, uh, GraphQL subscription. Yes. Um, boom, so boom. the idea is that anybody on their computer can hit hit keys on on our soundboard NPC pad kind of thing, and then everybody will be able to hear each other's sounds. Um, so hopefully it won't turn into a oh it a, will a cacophony. Oh but, it will. <laughs> uh, <laughs> uh, but yeah, that that'll be fun. GraphQL subscriptions. Yeah, uh, we're gonna cover like using fragments. Yep sending mutations it's gonna be fun um uh and and a whole bunch of other things i was just thinking as well it would be cool if after this is after our api is done yeah. anyway um if if we could make like a, a a twitch chat bot where people could like send sounds from twitch chat yes and uh, have it play and, in the stream play on the stream as well or, or, or that, that too. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Well, we'll do both. First, um, we'll start with the soundboard, but then later, I mean, if it's already there, I might as well just let them spam us <laughs> whenever we stream. Be yeah. Anyway. So, so yeah, soundboard app, graphical Coming in hot. Yeah. Fragments, and as Kurt said, the use sound hook, which is really fun to use. It um, is fun. We'll, we'll be getting into all that stuff. Yeah. Um, and the other thing about this that's really fun is that uh, we don't have a name for this thing yet. We don't. Uh, not in any particular rush, but uh, we're going to leave it up to you, the chat, to name our our um, interactive soundboard app. Yes. And um, maybe maybe next stream or, or the following one, we'll, uh, we'll pick a name from suggestions that you guys give in the chat. So if anything comes to mind, drop, drop it in the, it chat. In the chat. We'll make a note of it, and uh, and then maybe we'll we'll have a vote. Um, hey, once we have Frost 060, thank you so for that's the follow. Fun. Yeah, and that's that, and we're ready. Are we ready? Like, should we actually do something now? What do you think? Yeah, let's let's go for All it. Right. So the real question here is though, is like, I mean, I. Well, yeah, I guess we'll just start with like a, a brand new project. Let me flip over to my desktop. Dun, 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 dun. So let's get um, this going. Oh, get ready for the fun transitions, y'all. Let's see if I can figure this out. Uh, there we go. Cool. All right. So we are, uh, yeah, looking at my desktop. Let's get the terminal going. And we're just going to start like from scratches right we'll just build a, a brand new project from all the nothing so last thing i was working on was called rami bot don't ask don't worry i won't tell um okay you like that chris yeah, yeah what a stinger hey yeah it's pretty awesome we're very happy best seven dollars i ever spent <laughs> <laughs> oh, I wish I could take credit for that, but nope, alas, I cannot make dirt. I'm just going to call it soundboard for now because it's yet to be named, but we need somewhere to put it. Um, okay, so we'll do that. We're going to CD into said soundboard and we're going to yarn and it dash Y dash Y just means it's going to skip, like basically just accept all of the default options. So we don't have to do any fuss and boom there we go we're gonna clear that out and we're gonna code it up 
Yay, goodbye, terminal. Because from now on, all <laughs> terminal commands will be run within VS Code. Uh, I'm going to resize this thing so that it's not so weird. Shaped. Uh, oddly shaped. And I did that with like a Alfred um, extension that I installed. It's really cool. You type out div and then you specify the size and it just whoosh, makes the window those exact pixel dimensions. How wicked is that? I like it. Yeah, it's really cool. All right, so we got this and this is all we got, yo. A package JSON. So we're going to do a server, a GraphQL server. So I guess maybe we start from the server and work our way back. Or like forward, which would I yeah, sure. To um, the left. Yeah. Live yeah, that share. sounds good. I think we can I mean we can we can start let's let's live share and then we can we can really get yeah. get moving. Join. Why is this not share oh share read write? This is new. They've updated this. Starting a collaboration session. And then let me send this to you. Maybe if I can find my mouse. There it is. Where's the little chat window? How come that's not here? That's odd. Or oh, oh I got in it. Skype? Yeah, I found it. It's because I had the mini window up. I put the mini window up mm. so you're in front of my camera, so I'm looking at you and not like yeah. here. But then it hides the chat. There we go. And now I'll just minimize Joining your you. live share. Nice. Love it. Love live share. So cool. I did a stream. Um audio file that's pretty clever i like that cool. um audiopedia that's hilarious too I've, i'm 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 in the in a different tab on my computer i'm organized i'm like keeping all of these uh options in a straw pool so um maybe nice. maybe towards the end of the episode or or next episode we'll share this straw pool and we can all vote oh fun. i love that that's cool yeah um all right so we've got this done boom, boom, boom. and you're in right you're in uh, You're not let in. Me just see. I clicked. I clicked to join. I don't know what where my VS Code thing is. Let's try this again. Open yeah. VS Code. No worries. Open. I'm just gonna start setting up all the things so that we got everything we could possibly need. Okay. Well, I, I'm just going to start installing some random yeah. things that we're gonna need. So normally we like to roll with a serverless um api but we're just not going to be able to do that this time because we need subscriptions which means i mean you can get there with serverless but like good lordy that's oh, <laughs> that's not a lot of fun actually i think chris you might have some experience with that uh i'd be curious to hear your thoughts whoa someone just texted me from a number i don't know and then put question mark <laughs> uh, yeah okay and what's the answer I don't know. Should I just start going through autocomplete text? Like, you know how, like, I have an Android phone and it offers up, like, auto messages and I could just have an entire conversation yeah, with yeah. them. Yeah, yeah. You know, give them, give them some, some kind Ugh, of... That's scary. Some kind hey, of yo. Yo, what's up, uh, BJ Kegley in the chat? How's it going? Um, all right. So what are we doing now? Are you in I'm here? Trying, Did it I'm not work? trying my hardest to, uh, to sign in. Oh, or to like get this live share thing working, but it's not working. It keeps on. I can do a new one. Let's see if I can do this. Hold on. User code. Enter the code to complete sign in. There's a code. Okay. I don't know. That's what I'm. The files I'm, are in the computer. <laughs> yes, live share. Uh. This is totally not. It says the session is no longer active. Oh, that's cool. Okay, well let me do this. Stop collaboration <laughs> session. Stop. Right. Share read write. Okay. Live. Ooh, live. Jam spam. I, I like I like jam spam. That's fun. That's hilarious. Jam spam. That's funny. All right. It? And it's got like the jam part of the jam stack you know jam oh spam. yeah it's clever oh snap i don't know if this counts as jam stack yet actually is it going to be gatsby i figured we'd just like create react app the crap out of it but i'm down for whatever um um yeah i mean it's we, we can go either way i guess like the the, the benefit of gatsby is is even for uh, like a small yeah uh like a small project like this 
uh, is that you get like Gatsby plugins and stuff. I don't know if we're gonna, how much we're gonna really take advantage, need to take advantage of that, but um, like that, that's kind of cool. But um, and I, I think it's still Jamstack whether we use Gatsby or not. That's you know? true. Like it's just a, like a static page talking to an API. Yeah. Uh, I pretty pretty jam. I shared a new link with you. I'm curious to see if okay, that works. Okay, let me let me try. This. Trying again. One more time. That's a song, okay. right? I didn't make that. Oh one. yeah. Yeah. Okay. Hey. One more time. You're we in. gotta celebrate. In hacker voice. Nice. I'm in. Keys clacking. <laughs> Okay. All right. So. Um, all right. So here we are. We have a file tree. Nice. Yeah, we have a file tree with one file. <laughs> Hot. So what do we need to get started? We're going to need Apollo server. Yeah. Well, I, I, I think we could, could we start by just at, ha, creating like a API and a client directories? Oh, API man. and client directories. Yeah, that's a our, good point. Our, yeah, we can. Works in our workspace here. Yeah, make dir server. It should be. I'm gonna do alias to make derp. I really like because I always want to say make derp. Mm. Okay. Um. Oh, I should have done a root init. I should have initted in those subfolders. It's whatever. It's all good. It's whatever. Yeah, yeah. All right, so we're there. It truly is whatever. Uh, well, we're starting okay, a I'm... server, so I'm gonna cd in a server. So we're in server now. Okay. Should I do a yarn and it again? Yeah. Yeah. Cool. Okay. So now we've got two package JSONs. And one right. is inside of server. Oh, let me blow this up for the folks at home. I do apologize. Whoa, that's a little little much there. There we go. Okay. My uh, my live share session is super sluggish. Like it's You know, I've been having issues with live share um, oh. as of late. Isn't that interesting? Yeah. Oh, okay. Now, now I've got, now I've got client and server directories, but and now it's loading more stuff. <laughs> it's super slow. Oh man. Oh no. What do we do? I can just share my screen with you for now. So we can just kind of move Let's, along. Um, you know, I don't want to hold everybody up. Let's see. We'll see I'm going to try something. You can always quit and rejoin. See if that works. Yeah. I mean, it's good on my I'm gonna, end. I'm gonna, I'm gonna try that. Yeah, my internet's good. I'm gonna try that. Good. Okay. Rejoining. I have a good feeling about this. Live share is one of those tools that that definitely benefits from the turn it off and turn it on again methodology. Seriously. Oh, seriously. It does. Yeah, you know, I okay. I found out that OBS does not support. Um, there's this cool thing called like, you can dock like panels and then you could dock a browser panel. And I only noticed this cause mm -hmm. I spied it on Chris Biscardi's screenshot in the party Corgi chat. Uh, um, oh, cool. yeah, but he's on windows. Long story short, it doesn't work on Mac. And then I could have put the Twitch chat and like the activity feed right into OBS. And then I wouldn't have to constantly go to the twitch and like pop out those channels like right now i have the chat popped oh, out okay. in a little window and it would have been super cool um to have that yeah see hells yeah yeah <laughs> jealous jelly um well i i just uh i just cd'd into the client directory and created a package Ooh, json in there okay. too um yeah, let's. Uh, why don't we? Why don't we start with the server? Like, install everything that we need, and yeah. then, uh, and then build a build like a little GraphQL server. See if, if we right. can get that going. Nodemon, Apollo server, and GraphQL. Right. I think that's really all we need to get started. Yeah. Typically, I do. I, I install Nodemon as a dev dependency. Oh, that's so a that good point. Gets, like, Thank you. Dropped. If you're if you're using Heroku yeah. or Render, I, I don't know about Render, but I know Heroku like throws out all your dev dependencies. Yeah. All right. So I'll start with before those. it runs your thing in prod. Cannot wait for those uh, write-ups, Chris. Um, I've been reading your Rust ones. I don't understand them, 
but they're a good read nonetheless. Uh, <laughs> optionally, uh, optionally importing parts of Rust crates from GitHub. I was like, all right, I'll read that. And then I got an email from you and it said, what are you doing with your life? And then I had an existential crisis. So you've got me all over the place. <laughs> All right, how do you do a dev dependency in Yarn again? Yarn. Dash, dash, add, dev. Add dash, dash, dev. That's right. Uh, isn't that the same in NPM? Uh, NPM is saved. Oh, dev. yeah. Or, but maybe they may, they might they might also have added dev, the dev shorthand. Yeah, I'm not sure. But regardless, um, we install. The other thing that I would that I would suggest us adding here as a dev dependency is, uh, it, or as a, as a dependency, rather, is... Um, ESM transports, ESM, ESM. Yeah. So we can, we can use like ES modules in, uh, in node. I didn't know you could do that. Is that a dev dependency or a, it would be a, it would be a dependency cause you're going to want to use ESM to run your code. Oh, okay. This is new for me. I like this. Speaking of ESM, uh, I'm going to be moving my site to Toast soon, my personal site. So nice. Yeah, I'm excited. Okay. And then the other thing that I would that I I personally like can't live without when I'm developing is uh, ESLint Clear? and like a uh, ESLint config. Okay. Um, can I? Uh, well, I, I mean, do you, do you, do you feel the same way? Uh, no, I don't. Uh, I could really throw ESLint into a fire. I love prettier. Um, well, but I, I'm, this, I'm... here's the thing. <laughs> um, here, I'm gonna, I'm just gonna suggest this, and if, if we, if we hate it, um, we can throw it out and in, into a fire. Yeah. But, um, <laughs> adding ESLint and my oh, okay ESLint config. This this config uh, okay. has a bunch of like. Well, I trust Auto you. Rules, basically, like this, this is I, I I made this config specifically to work really well with uh, ESLint autofix, and it has prettier as wrapped up in 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 it. Like so, that's I, fine. I, yeah. I'm basically enforcing all of the prettier rules <laughs> through an ESLint config. Okay, uh, and it's it's really uh, kind of nice. I'm down with um, that. You should write a blog post about that, dude. I totally should. I'm gonna make a note of that. Yeah, because like I would have never known, and I mean I'm down with that. It's really cool. Oh, Steve OX 152X, thank you for the follow. We'd love to see it, and we'd love to have you here. Thank you for joining us. Thank you for joining. I'm gonna do uh, like my ASRM boys. Thank you for joining <laughs> us on today's episode of Launchpad. Today we're gonna work yeah. with. <laughs> All right, I'll stop. I'll stop. Uh, Vish, the the package installer name. Uh, well, uh, if if we're using Yarn, uh, but I don't think that's what you're asking. If if you want to know the um, ESLint <laughs> config that I'm talking about, yeah. it's uh, it's this uh, at uh, Turblade slash ESLint config. Um, BJ Kegley said sharing terminal access. That's real trust. Hell yeah. <laughs> Real, real, real friends, it. real friends share their terminals. Share terminals. Oh, that should be a shirt. Real that friends would, share terminals. Be, yo, Holy that, shit! That, I'm writing that down. Merch, merch idea. We just came merch. up with two merch, merch ideas alert. In one street. Merch alert. Oh my god. I am seriously running that down. <laughs> All right, um, let's do this. And the other, the other thing, uh, if you don't use ESLint in your VS code already, like, um, in order to, to really like gain full <laughs> advantage of this little setup, you want to turn ESLint, uh, like say, or auto fix on save on, which should be in your, in your like editor ESLint, uh, Yo. settings. Okay, but, cool. Uh, but yeah. Awesome. Sorry, I just got surprised by Will Johnson in the chat. What's up, buddy? How's it going? Thanks for joining us. I love it. On, I love it. All right, so let's see. What are we doing? Okay, so that's how we. How did you turn it on? You just uh, added if, it. If you go to your ES, you, you might already have this turned on, but in your ESLint settings, uh, your ESLint settings for your editor, uh -huh. um, you want to like, add. You want to turn on the 
uh, auto fix on save. Option. Oh, so, so that it's whenever like a setting. Save, it, whenever you save a file, it formats it with prettier and, and that kind of thing. File toggle auto save? Not file. No, just go to settings. Huh? That's probably a better route. If you go to your, yeah, if you go to your ESLint settings in your, in ES, or I mean, in VS Code. Um, There's ESLint settings in VS Code? You mean uh, just yeah, like. You have the ESLint extension? <laughs> oh, oh, the extension. I don't know if I do have the ESLint extension because like. I just rely solely on prettier. Oh, I don't. Oh, oh. I don't. So I if I install this, we have to redo the share because it's going to reload the window. But I'll let you leave it on, on your side. Ah, it's and... all good. We don't. We don't need to get. We don't need to get into this right now. No. Um, yeah. But... Yeah. Yeah. But I feel you. I'll add it for next time, sir. Okay. Anyway, all we right. can. We can definitely just charge. Charge ahead. Can't uh, we add ESLint as a dev dependency and then it will just do the things for us and read our config? Is that not real? Did I make that up? Uh, yeah. So like the, the fact we have oh, ESLint you did. as a dev dependency, yeah. um, but you need the ESLint extension in watch. VS Code to get like the auto fix on save behavior. That's Got the it. only. That's Got the only it. thing. Got but it. all right, that, whatever. That can be a topic for another stream. We don't Yolo. need to get into that right now. Yep. Goodbye. Um, out the window. Everything, everything will continue to work uh, without that extension, just as just as well. But right. yeah, let's. Uh, why don't we just get started by making a GraphQL server? I love that. Oops, what did I just hit? Wrong button. That's what I just <laughs> hit. I meant to hit that button. Okay, so let's go boop, and then we're just gonna start with just like an index.js, right? Well, yeah. I think that's probably the easiest route. Uh, one thing I do want to note is I don't want to embed our type defs and our schema within the file because I want to push the schema to Apollo Studio. So I do want that to live externally either or that or we can use Nexus programmatically build the schema and have it output the file as well. But it's really not that big of a deal. Like it just it's like a one line thing to require the you just read the file like and pull it out utf8 and pop it into type defs and it just works in oh the okay cool oh wait we don't have to do that anymore because now we can just configure it to turn on and as long as we have the apollo uh we need an from apollo studio yeah. yeah but that's fine we can do that never mind disregard okay. disregard that nonsense <laughs> oh my god I, I started sweating when i thought about writing dot graphql files <laughs> okay so here we are, line one. You said we can use ESM. Does that mean I can write import? Is that what you're yes, telling sir. me? Yes, sir. Oh, I love yeah. you. All right. Um, oh, well, we're going to instantiate it, right? So Apollo server from Apollo server. Oh, ha. Huh. It's not the <laughs> default export? No. Damn. This, this is why VS Code Live Share is so, so dope. I can yeah, just like go in and... <laughs> Like well, as, you're, as you're typing an import statement, I'm like going in and do, going in <laughs> some silly braces. As Oops. I ruin it, you could come in and fix it. I love it. Yeah. <laughs> All right. So we don't really need much else because we're going to be like huh, server uh, equals new. Oh, yeah. Well, we will need that, but we don't need it yet. Server. Bam, bam, bam. Uh, look at, look at this. I love this right. shit. Yeah. Okay. So I can't remember. It's like engine. Yeah. There we go. Thank you. Autocomplete. Bam. Uh, da, 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 da. Schema tag. No, none of this. Why do I turn on the schema shit by default? Oh yeah. Um, I don't know. Let's. We should maybe pop open the the studio docs and check yeah. that out. Let's actually do that. Oh no, that was the wrong window. It's okay. All right. I'm back to normal. Oh no, I blew up the wrong window. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Docs. Or you can actually just do like, what is it? HTTPS. Oh, I don't think I have to do that here. Apollo.dev. Right? I yep. guess you there. Cool. Cool, 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 cool. Apollo server. If you think I would know this shit, but nope. I do not. Let's. I, I think. I think you want to go to uh, Apollo Get Studio started. Docs. Oh, Apo wait. Oh, is it really Rather there? Than, yeah, that makes like, a lot uh, of sense. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, and then, boom. You got it. 
Oh, I think I got it. Yeah, we need the key. That's Engine, that. report mm -hmm. schema true. Shaboop. Got it. Oh, I think I copied the whole engine block. Engine block. It's like a car. All right. So we've got that. <laughs> we've got our server. And then we just be like server.listen, right? Yep. And then we can specify a port. Uh, what port you want to listen on? Uh, I think, uh, for, I guess 4,000, we can, I think we can we listen on whatever do, uh, port we want. Yeah. Uh, oops, sorry. I didn't mean to do that. Yeah. Okay, done. Right. And then we get like the callback and then it means we're listening. Isn't this how uh, it works? Yeah. Or, or, or the, the actually server.listen, um, is a, returns a promise. So we want to go. Like that, like port 4,000. Oh, and then, uh, Get rid and of then this you can object? Just say, yeah, you can get rid of that, and we can go then. Okay. Uh, and it gives us server info. I think it's like URL yeah, or something. Async for the win. Yeah, but I'm just so used to everything in Node being callback-based. Like, it's really hard to break out of that mindset. Like, I think everything does it by default. I wonder if they support callback or promise. Oh, maybe I was just I just moused over the uh, the docs. I, it looks like it. Look, I just moused over like the the uh, listen method, and and uh, it looks like it it just it just returns a promise. You are correct. There is no callback. Look at that. <laughs> so um, we're listening. Now, so we're listening at. I just want to make sure that I'm getting this right. Uh, one second. Yeah, you do that. I'm going to start adding some scripts to uh, the package JSON as you do that. Scripts. Like start. And then that's just going to be regular node index.js. But then we're going to have dev. And dev scripts. And then dev is going to be node mon index.js. Cool. Cool. So that's done. What did you do while I was gone? Oh, some um, type tests. Look at you. Kind of uh, yeah. Oh yeah, I made I made a couple type defs. We should probably uh, add I... those. Yeah. Type defs. Let's do that. And then we need resolvers. Uh, you know, what? let's define those up here. Oh, don't you have to have a query? Won't it like not run without a query? Um, I don't think you oh need really to have oh really let's get rid you of need it to have then. a query if you're if you're uh if you plan to extend the query i could be wrong but let's, let's find let's out see if this, if this works we can we can just start with this play sound mutation it can just be like a I void like function yeah 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 cool cool cool, cool. Uh, mutation play sound and we'll no op it nice. no op noop okay we've nooped noop. it and we should be ready to go so now I can we be also like, define. Oh, no. I, I just realized I defined this sound type. <laughs> so I'm gonna have what to, are you to do, do to that me? in here. All right. We'll say like played at is a date, which <laughs> we don't have the date scaler in. I'm just gonna oh, say dear Lord. <laughs> uh, sound type string. There. How's that? Yeah. Yeah. I like it. Um, okay. So and now for we now let's just let's just return uh, null because this. Oh, is you have a, to return something. Good call. Yeah, you. It's like it's weird. You would think I would know how GraphQL works by this point. <laughs> All right, are we ready? Okay, let's see. See if this works. Yeah. Yes. Oh. It crashed. Cannot oh, use right. import. Okay. Yeah. Oh, we have to compile this, right? So we need to. We need to Clear. use. What, what am I doing? <laughs> so if you go back to your package JSON. Yeah. And uh, and you're checking out the dev script here. Essentially, what you want to do is uh, pass through like ESM. You would, you would want to require the ESM module first. And there's a shorthand in Node.js, uh, this like dash dash require. And you can do this. Yeah. Um, to like require your a module before your uh, file. Code is loaded, uh, which right? Which is shorthand R as well. Oh. Huh. Um, so, and that works with Nodemon as well? It does, yeah. That is so really yeah, sick. Nodemon will accept all like all of the options that you would normally pass to Node as well. Yeah, you learn something new every day. Like that was awesome. Um, mm -hmm. Okay, 
So let's try again. And you can actually, you can do, you can require multiple things. Like you can go, this is another common thing, uh, require .env slash config. Oh, no um, way. So I, 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 use, I require my .env config Dude, file. Dude, I hate writing require at the here. top of my thing. Like I, you've just taken my um, server development to a whole new level, sir. I just feel like I'm a senior developer now. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> the all magic. Right. Yeah, that's it. That's all it takes. If you know this, you're a senior developer. All right. Yes, it crashed. We have all now. Right. Yeah. Uh, you're, so you're totally yeah. right. Query, Query root, root must be provided. There you go. All right. So that's... let's do this. So I do know a little something. Just you do? a little bit. See? Not much. We, it ain't we, much, we but it's honest it work. It pretty well. We have each have our gaps. And Why? We, uh, <laughs> Too bad you can't we put... Like a, we, can, we can make like a sounds query uh, oh. that returns an array of sounds. Maybe. I like it. For now, it's going to return... Oh, sound is a type already. Nice. Yep. All and right. we can make it... Uh, we can make like a, a not nullable yeah. uh, array just like that. Yeah. yeah. But now, but now we also need the resolver. So let's not You're forget. Right. Let's not forget. Sounds. Ha. Ha. Uh, did I put downs? <laughs> it's okay, dude. I'm, I'm, I'm like, uh, this is honestly, it, it feels really fun. Like. Peggy. Yo, wild Peggy appears. Oh, it does. I love, I love the, the back and forth. Up, like the thing as you're writing it. It's so fun. Yeah, yeah, it's awesome. Okay, uh, so now we have GraphQL Playground available to us. We can we can try making a sounds query. Uh, we're gonna that. get an empty array. We already know that. Am but... I sharing the port with you already? Uh, no. Yeah, it, it automatically does that. Oh, it did it. Cool. So let's jump over there. Shaboop. Hello. Oh, oh, or not? Damn, Chrome. There we go. That was rough. It was really choking on starting a new tab. All right. Hey, look at this. Hello does not exist, but sounds does. Great. So that that's our our oh, little yeah. GraphQL server for now. You gotta you gotta specify some what some do, fields. What did we give? Type. Uh, type. Yeah. Cool. 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 I love it. All right, so that was it. Thank you for joining us. <laughs> we hope you enjoyed the show. <laughs> uh, that that's that's our that's our project. Ship it. We're yeah, done. it's done. All right. So we've got the most basic barest bones of um, a schema, but we're not quite done yet. Let me jump back over here into the browser because I want to go and get this thing registered. You got to register. It's like a license. So I'm gonna put yes. it, or like a car, I mean. So we'll do this. Ooh, I get to use restricted access scene. So y'all will be able to hear us, but you will not be able to see what I do because it's restricted area. Mm. All right, here we go. Hopefully this works. Let us know in chat if you can still hear us. Hear oh, us, fear hear, us. Hear us, hear us. Okay, so let's see. Uh, I am setting up a new graph within Studio and the reason I'm hiding it uh, I'm just going to call it soundboard for now. Uh, it's because it's going to expose a key, and I don't want you to see my key. Uh, yeah, the transition is so fancy, right, Peggy? I love it. All right, cool. So I'm going to copy this out. Command C. Oh, funny. We're going to be able to load .env. We're going to need to install that because we're going to have our first environment variable. Uh, and we're going to give a name to a variant in there as well. I'm just looking at this. So let me. I'm going to say I'm done here. And it's gonna load up, and now I can flip back over. It's no longer restricted access. Okay, cool. So, oh wait, I should have probably done the M key first. So I'm actually gonna have to do it. I just really wanted to do the transition again. Hang on, <laughs> we'll be right back. All right, so I'm gonna go over here. I'm gonna make a new file called .env. Ha 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 ha. And paste this in. We'll save that and we'll close it. And that is it. Okay, so now I can flip this back over. Right, sure. There we go. Yeah, I'm sure this time. I am okay, sure okay. this time. All right, so we're back. 
And now I want to add, so we put here um, this, so we're going to change, we're going to add one thing, and we're going to add variant property. And that is going to be current, per the instructions. Cool. <laughs> so it's like you had to do the transition twice. And where, I mean, I got to get my $7 worth, folks. <laughs> how, oh, yeah, absolutely. I was just wondering, Kurt, where... Can we can we look at the instructions that that you're that you're talking about for yeah let for me engine see. reporting just so we can like kind of go through what what are like the required so things if there? I bring that up it's going to show the key again unfortunately oh. it shows the <laughs> okay, key okay. and then where to put it in but these are the only two properties that you need okay. um, to get this to work it's report schema true and then what variant means is like you can have different variations of your graph within Apollo Studio. And this is useful for a lot of different reasons. Maybe you have a staging graph or a per, per PR graph and stuff like that. Um, so if this is the case, uh, then you want to do it. But we're just using current because we're just going to, anytime this thing gets deployed, boom, 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 it's going to update just with our new overwrite graph. overwrite the, the main, the main you variant. It. You got okay. it. Yeah, yeah. So we don't really, right now, we don't need all the other stuff. We just need that. But now it's in. It's in, it's in studio. And we're good to go. So as a matter of fact, it's restarted. So if I go back to studio, uh, I'm afraid to click on. Ah, there it went. Damn it. It just showed it. <laughs> uh, so now if you go back and clip that, you can have the key. But I'll just delete it and then you'll feel like a real sucker. But once we get this thing, uh, yeah, so it should like in a minute be finished with the setup. Or maybe let me try something. Maybe I have to click a button. Hang on one second, y'all. Yeah, leaked exposed i feel like like a uh, uh, tmz All right. so let me do finish setup because i think maybe i was supposed to click done okay yeah well it says awaiting schema uh hmm. maybe do we need to restart our server uh, yeah let's try that so i'm gonna do that okay or maybe I... starting listening okay so I'm gonna and go back. We don't we don't need to supply the the key in this in in our like engine block in our Apollo no. server constructor, right? Not at all. Okay. And I'm putting in there what it says. But you know what's interesting? Maybe we're not on the right version of server, because like it was giving me different properties. So let me show everybody what I'm talking about. So, mm -hmm. like, when I do this, watch. So, when I do a new line, if I start doing report schema, oh, I guess that, well, yeah, it's not showing up as an option. It's just showing up because I've already typed it. Do we need to be on, like, the beta or something of Apollo server to make this work? Let's see. Schema registration via schema reporting. Uh, it works on Apollo server 2.15 and later we have a we have 2.17 installed so we so should, we be, should good be good there. yeah mm -hmm. uh okay let's see select the from apollo server tab copy the value that appears um after apollo key Did scroll that. down to the api key section click create a new key oh right create a new key uh, that that's if you don't have a key. Oh, we have a key, and I added it. Oh wait, yo, we never did oh, env yet. We didn't we didn't include the key. We got oh. it's in an m file, oh, but yeah, we haven't yeah. added dot m. Right. Yo. <laughs> right, right. right. So that 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 our 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 dot m file is actually doing nothing right now. Yeah. So <laughs> I'm gonna so, yarn add dot m, and then we can do that yep. cool thing you showed me. Let's do some cool things, man. I love cool things. They make me happy. Ugh. Yeah. And you know what, though? That was surprisingly quick to figure out compared to this morning where I spent um, my whole morning fighting with Slack and Google APIs. All right. <laughs> so this so is done. In package JSON. Now, where, where you would normally do, do this at the beginning of a file, require dot n. But today uh, we have learned. And then config like this. Yeah, you can just you can just say that. Do I have to do dash r again? Right? Yeah, you, yeah. For All each right. for each require you got to add a yeah. little another dash, uh, dash r. This is so yep. wild. Today I learned that I have been doing .env requires 
like a sucker. I guess it, it depends, because like if you don't need to know a path or a particular like .m file per environment, like that's something people do a lot. Like you might have a different one for development than production, but in our case, we don't need that, right? Yeah, and one one note though is that where, wherever we decide to deploy this thing, like be it Heroku or Render, um, we're they're they're gonna in, inject yeah uh, the environment variables themselves. Uh, so we, we just don't need, need it for to, dev. Yeah, we don't need to do it in uh, in production. We just need it for dev. And and that being the case, I I would also propose that we move dot env to a dev dependency um, because we're not gonna need it. In okay yeah let's do that um so i stopped it we could just shift it down can't we just be like or would that break our lock file um i'm i i really don't know i i'm i'm tempted to just say like uh, uninstall and reinstall yeah do one of All those right. like All yarn right. oh. oh yeah yeah run yeah. <laughs> that sounds like a cool name yarn remove it sounds like end. a pirate's name yeah. Yarn, yarn, <laughs> yarn, yarn, add dev dot n, something like that. Yeah, something like that. That's better. Take it away and put it back, and then we should be good to go. <laughs> Yo, fish. Nice try, sure, uh, sir. Can you show the dot m file? <laughs> I love it. At this point, I already leaked yeah, the okay. key. You did ask politely, and I already leaked the key, so at this point, it's just like, YOLO. Um, yeah, all right. Just gotta clips. Okay, so Before now... Yeah, yeah. Just first... Oh, man, look at this. Yard! <laughs> nice. <laughs> that, was, that was actually perfect timing. Our, our keystrokes lined up, so we got two Ys, two As, two Rs, two Ns. Yarn. Clip that. Uh, oh, thank you, Peggy. How do you how do you clip in? Uh, in... Uh, I don't think you could do slash clip. I think you gotta like go to Twitch and clip that. Darn. Yeah. Darn. Darn. <laughs> uh, all right. So let's see. Uh, it's running, and now we should have a graph. Ah, oh, man, I'm really bad at this. Like not doing. Uh, showing what we're supposed to... Why? Stop doing that! <sighs> What's going on? I keep showing the key on on oh. uh, <laughs> on stream. Just over Apollo, and over again. Apollo Studio is is, uh, is not very stream friendly. No, they, not at they... all. Yeah, we should do like have one of those buttons. Oh, someone clipped it. Oh, you did. <laughs> um, but now it is finished. So now I'm wondering like, well, we haven't really hit the API or done anything. Do we need to do anything else other than run it? We can we can also it's not it's not the end of the world anyway. We can always just yeah, um we'll like deal with that later. Key. Yeah. But um okay, so we've got a now server. We have our end file. We have our we have server. And yeah. let's see now. Apollo graph variant. Um So in in Apollo Studio, is this is our variant published yet? Well, that's what I'm saying. No, like it won't pub. Oh, oh, it did! It did! It did! It did! It did! Current <laughs> default. Oh, nice. success. Hey -oh. So if okay. you ever want someone to take something easy and make it difficult for you, just hire me. That's what I do best. <laughs> it's like really. I, I think, it, I think it, it was it was actually easy the whole time. And then, and then there was just an element of panic added onto it that made it seem difficult, but it was actually, in reality, easy. Yeah, it's two <laughs> options and an environment variable, and somehow that just beat the crap out of me. And you know what? It's just like, I'm so uh, uh, beat up from earlier. I've never had such a hard time talking to an API as I did with the Google Sheets API. And it was less oh. about the actual API. It's not the actual, once, once I got in, once I had like the proper configuration set up as far as like the roles and getting the credentials loaded and doing all that, it was easy. Mm. Like afterwards, like dealing with the sheet itself. So I'm not saying the API itself is, is rough, but it was really rough for me specifically to get going, but I got it. So oh, wow. 
all things in the That's end. Good. Oh, thank you, Peggy. Yeah. Uh, you'll give me some credentials? Nice, dude. Yeah. Yeah, the Slack API was a pain in the butt yesterday. But we got that figured out. Oh, Peggy, I didn't tell you. So the whole reason I couldn't get access to the Google Sheets API was because I needed to add the email of like the service role to the doc. So like I had Peggy give me right permissions and then I'm like met like pounding my head against the wall. Like, what do you mean? I don't have permissions. I'm like changing roles in the UI, mm. but the actual email for that role, like that user didn't have access to the sheet. But anyway, now it does and we're good to go. Long story short, soundboard current. Let's take it away. Yeah. Yeah. Don't, don't use Google Sheets. Unless use Apollo you Studio to. instead. Yeah. Okay. I like that. I can roll with that. They don't really do the same thing, but I mean, no. yeah. <laughs> Just no, not at all. <laughs> you know a little bit, but it, it's all a... right. All right. So moving on. We've, um... Yeah, moving on. We've got this. So let's do some code. We've got a registered schema. Um, yeah. What, what do you think? Next, next, uh, next steps. Should we continue flushing out the API, or should we get a client up, spun up, and connected to our API now? And then kind of like start working from there. What, where, where do you, where do you so, want to take this next? Yeah. So normally, normally I would say let's just focus on building out the server a little bit more. But in this case, it's very subscription specific. It's kind of hard to test without a client. Um, mm. I would say that we could build out the mutation and kind of think about that. But it's also hard to know what that will look like until we design or figure out the soundboard itself. What is that even going yeah. to look like, Blades? What are we even doing? What are we doing with yeah. our lives? Well, why don't why don't we? Uh, I, I'm just going to make a little a comment note. thing here, like to do. Uh, yeah, how <laughs> this thing should work. Um, and it's like one client or like user presses button. Uh, and that sends mutation, mutation. Um, the sound ID. It, it, yeah, with sound ID, and then we basically just then take that oh, sound ID and forward it to all clients with subscription. Yeah, and then three uh, client plays sound when it receives a subscription what what do we call it a subscription response or something event 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 okay uh oh step uh, four profit yeah it's, it's like this yeah step five profit yeah. i love it okay so we've got a plan we have a plan of action let's do it let's make this uh happen so i guess we kind of need a client let's build a client yeah. Let's build a client. Right. I um I've got I've got a a, uh, a an approach here that I I consider to be like the fastest. Oh, I've the seen the fastest this like A to B to get a GraphQL ready site working. Um, I'm gonna time you. All right. Let me get a Are timer we ready? Going. Hang on. No, I gotta. I'm literally gonna get a timer. All right. I cool. gotta stopwatch. Are you ready? I think I'm ready. All right. Go. Okay, so we're gonna go yarn add Gatsby gonna, React I React need to follow you Gatsby theme Apollo also Apollo client and GraphQL. So let's add all of those things while that's installing. I'm gonna create a file at source slash Gatsby theme Apollo slash client dot js and this is going to import. Apollo client from at Apollo slash client. And we're going to create a, oops, not create. We're going to say client equals new Apollo client with uh, a cache, which is going to be a new in memory cache. Uh huh. Uh huh. I get imports. That's okay. No yeah. problem. Oh, and yeah. No auto imports. Ouch. And we'll shave HTTP a few seconds link. from your overall time. <laughs> yes. Link is going to be a new HTTP link where um, just over one URI minute. 
is equal to localhost slash 4000. 4K. And we're going to need a fetch implementation. So what, when this is, when this install is finished, I'm going to grab uh, isomorphic That's the fetch. the worst word to spell. From NPM. <clears throat> and then finally, we'll just make this client the default export of this client JS. The, the location of this file is super important. It's at source slash Gatsby theme Apollo uh, slash client JS. That's where yeah. the, our <clears throat> Apollo Gatsby theme is expecting it. I'm I'm getting getting some lag here on the save, but that's okay. I'm here, I got you. Forward. I saved it for you. Great. <laughs> All right. Gatsby config.js. Uh-oh. Yeah, it's... It... VS Code. Oh no! Here we go. It created it. I know. I'm just trying to load it. Uh, uh. Oh man, don't worry. Can't... I'm I'm tracking that time, and we'll remove it. Can't quite load it. Oh no. VS Code with the it was fail. going so well, dude. VS Code is is uh is is slowing me down here. Darn it. Maybe I have to uh close some of these files or something. Come on, VS Code. You were doing so good. I'm going to try uh, just joining the link again. Oh, do you want me Damn to start it. typing while I do this? Oh, you don't need <laughs> HTTP link anymore. You can do... That is a good call, Peggy. Thank you. Yeah, you could just do URI. Boop. Yeah. Oh, fetch. You need because of fetch. That's right. Yeah. Yeah. I know. Yes, you were Peggy, we are... Yeah, it says you're in there. All right, here I'm in. I'm in here again. Back in Gatsby config. We're gonna go. Just pretend like nothing happened. Module exports equals. So I'm taking off one um, minute because that was a minute almost exactly. All right. And we can just make this plugins array contain Gatsby theme Apollo, and that is all we need there. Yep. Um, back in. Client, right? That's all there. I'm just going to yarn add isomorphic fetch. Careful not to spell the word incorrectly. I hate spelling that word. <laughs> okay. And while all that is, is loading, I'm just going to create another file at source slash pages slash index.js. Come on. All right. It's loaded. Live share. So there, there's it has a it has a problem with me creating new files. It really does. Next time, <laughs> tell me the file, I'll create it for you, and then that'll probably yeah. be a bit easier. Sounds good. I'm gonna rejoin live share. Well, we're... again, this is this is the jankiest speed run I've, I've ever done. Ah, <laughs> <clears throat> oh. loading. Come on, come on, come on. Uh, actually, well, let's just do. Return and we'll just return like an H1. Boop, export default. And I'm just going to import React, React from yeah. React, import uh, um, GQL and use query from Apollo client. And, uh, and then in, in our component, we can just say, uh, a little destructured data loading and error from, oh, not from, uh, from the return of use query with this for our sounds. GraphQL query in here. Yeah. And we'll just, yeah, query for sounds to get the type of each one. Make a few different uh, states in here. If loading, return div loading. If error, return a div with the error message. And then finally, we'll return this, uh, a list of the sounds, which right now will be an empty array, but we might, is whatever. might take advantage of that later. Yeah. yeah. Say data.sounds, map over each sound, and for each sound, we'll return its, up uh, sound dot type and we'll give it uh, this key yeah. a sound ID um that's not gonna exist I think we'll, we'll, want, we'll want to have an ID yeah 
um, on our sound, um, I guess I can just open up he this and just add an ID type here. Look. We're going to want an ID uh, field on our sound type yep. uh, for Gatsby's, or I mean for Apollo's client to uh, be able to automatically cache for sure. these results. For us. Yep. And now with all of that done, uh, let's we'll just it? go back into package JSON. And yeah, we're going to start this thing. I just need to add a script. We'll say uh, start is going to run Gatsby develop. And with our fingers and toes crossed, everybody, let's see. Uh, oh, let's see what we can get here. Why is this not saved? Let me save that just to make sure. OK, thank you. Yep. So it's, uh, it's kind of bugging out on my side. Yeah, it's all good though. Let's try. Uh, yeah, let's try running this. Go and start. Start not found. Oops. Potential script. typo. There we go. <laughs> let's try again. Gatsby develop. <laughs> Developing our develop. Yoda droid. Thank you for the follow. Much appreciated. <sighs> Who but JG? Fastest fingers in the West. I'll, I'll, I'll take it. Seriously. Okay, what do we have? It's running. It's building. Oh, I should probably stop your time. Because you're done. Uh, if As soon as the build, as soon as we get the, the build uh, URL. Okay, that's, that's, that's fair. That's fine. I've been watching uh, watching a lot of uh, speed runs recently, so I'm like familiar Hype. with the uh, on it. like yeah. the terminology and stuff. There you go. That that's time. All right. What do we got? Okay, so we've got eight nineteen, but you are short two minutes and okay. twelve seconds, so six minutes and seven seconds. Okay, I'll take it. Yeah, I don't Not know bad. what this is. What all these D's <laughs> are. I have no idea, dude. <laughs> Whatever. Let's see if it worked. That's the most important part. So it should be running on uh, port. Oh, why'd you open in a new window? It said failed to fetch, dude. Uh-oh. Mmm. Oh. Interesting. Graphical loads, it's though. probably because... Localhost. Oh, I put HTTPS colon slash localhost. Oh, we just want HTTP. HTTP. I can't save client.js though, so you're going to have to go in there and, and Yeah, uh, it's like doing it. weird stuff. I'm yeah. just going to close it and there we yep. go. That like fixed it, put it back into a normal okay. state. Okay. So nice. now, uh, yeah, it looks like the bundle is fixed. And if I go to live share, it should already, yeah, it's sharing that port with you. Please open. Why would you open in a new window? Sounds, but it works. It works. But I'm going to yeah. open this in the other browser because, boom. But, yo, that really might be the fastest way to do Gatsby with Apollo. Six minutes. I'm impressed, dude. Are you, like, sweating? Not bad. Not I, bad. I, I think... I, I think I think we could go a little we could, faster. We could go a bit faster. You had a lot not, of hold up for first. Run. Yeah, you had a lot of yeah, hold yeah. ups too. I'm, so I'm gonna I'm gonna try doing doing this uh, record this it off VS Code live share. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It'll, it'll be like a new speed run category. Yeah, I'll do it too. I'm gonna do it a couple <laughs> times and then we can compare times. I love it. <laughs> All right, so we've got we've got this working. So now the question is, it looks like. Here's my only thing. We're querying for sounds, but we have no database. So that's not going to be able to stay. That's just there for right now. But really, the sounds are going to live on the client. And their IDs will just get passed yeah. up and passed right back down. It's stateless as far as these sounds. Like a sound could be anything. And uh, yeah. I think that's okay. But this was just to get something rendered on a page. And that's fine. You got it. So the next step is, what do we do? Because we want to like send a mutation. So we need like a button. And then we want to read that subscription back, right? Yeah, exactly. I think we can just create that that kind of like feedback loop yeah. next. Where we just have a button on the page. The button sends a mutation. And we listen for 
events on a subscription that gets fired when the mutation like uh i love it gets fulfilled something like that something like that i like it oh here's a question i don't want to build this hmm. ui from scratch that sounds like a terrible idea right but a soundboard like they're going to be kind of like ideally at the end it would look pretty unique but i still feel like we could start oh, yeah. from start from something pre-built should we just go to our trusty friend chakra is it should we just i'm down yeah yeah let's see so what i'm talking about yeah. uh if anyone in the chat is not familiar we're going to use chakra ui um which i don't remember the ur uh url for uh do you remember what the url is chakra dash ui dot soccer let's just UI. google it Oh, chakra dash ui.com. And you, you're probably going to want to go to the next dot chakra dot uh, chakra dash ui.com. That is the the site for the upcoming v1, oh. which is super dope. I know I know Demetrius is has played with that a little bit. Okay. Uh, I've been okay. I've been building uh, building uh, a project with chakra v1, and it is it is a dream. Let me tell you. It is a dream, ladies and gentlemen, a dream. Okay, so uh, ba -bum, ba -bum. what are we doing now? Well, it's Gatsby, so we need like the Gatsby plugin for Chakra, right? We're gonna have to add that. Yeah. Uh, We're gonna go uh, grab Chakra UI. You step ahead. Or at next. Okay. We're gonna grab uh, Gatsby plugin Chakra UI at next. Oh. oh. I th think that's all we need for now. Well, that's easy. I think. It's almost too easy. Too easy. <laughs> so, and while that's installing... Yeah, speaking um, big. I'm going to add that real quick. Uh, do I have to put, like, the dash next? No, right? Like, it just... Nope. Just Gatsby plugin Shocker UI. Is UI all Char together? <laughs> no, it's a dash. Uh, dash UI. Uh, Sharkra? Do I have Sharkra? <laughs> nice the nautical <laughs> um, version of it, chakra. it pairs really well with yarn <laughs> yes exactly we've, we've got a distinct uh, little theme going on here bye Peggy we'll see you later see you later and uh, yeah so that should be all we need to get started with chakra um, did you save this file? I did. It saved. It says unsaved mine. Okay, I'm just going to quit out. VS Code Live Share is so nice, but so strange sometimes. It's so strange. Okay. Uh, but okay. it's still better now, than not having it, for sure. Yeah. I'm going to go yarn start. I'm gonna, I, I was having a hard time getting the uh, port 8000 to share with my computer. Port 4000 is sharing, but I think it is anyway. Oh, no, it's... Wait a minute. No, no. Localhost 4000. Um, oh. It should I be see. sharing. Let's see. <laughs> I can unshare them and reshare them. Um, it might be in a weird state. Let's see state. if this works. Yeah. Yeah. It might, this might work. But, but yeah, you might have to unshare and reshare. Let's see. We could just quit the whole internet, call it a day. <laughs> we never quit the internet. Never. I can't. The internet doesn't quit us. Yo, all I can think about is making this real friend share terminals shirt. Oh, yeah, you 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 took a note of that, right? Oh, absolutely. Yeah. Yeah. Let's let's try resharing. Okay. Uh, I can't. It's not it's not working for me. Goodbye. 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 Share server. Enter the HTTP. Ooh. Only specify local host. Um, 4,000. And then... Okay. Should be shared with you again.
Well, I can't hear you. Are you muted? I muted myself to take a sip of water. Nice. My bad. Yeah, it works. Yay! Awesome. Okay, cool. So with that out of the way, um, what we could do actually is just just start. Um, we we actually don't need to use this sounds query. What we're what we're actually going to be needing is our play sound mutation. Yeah. So we can just sw swap this use query for use mutation. I we can like actually it. get rid of all this loading state. Yep. We can get rid of pretty much everything in here uh except for we're going to uh create we're going to turn this gql template string into a mutation and while i do that kurt you can you can create that button that actually yeah i'm working um, on that like triggers it yeah all right so whoa it's like weird because the page keeps jumping so i keep trying to click somewhere and then it jumps oh yeah so then it's not there uh but we're gonna have button and we can just import that directly in from chakra we'll take care of that in a second i'm trying to remember does it take a title like a button is just like a closed off component or does it close around the text like a normal button yeah it, it, it uses children for the text got it oh why would you close there all right i'm really struggling here so play it okay so we've got our button but we need to include our button. Let's see if I can get autocomplete to work. Loading. Nope. Jeez Louise. Whatever. I'm on it. Cool. And then we need on click. It's going to be equal okay. to, and really we could just do, uh, we'll do, um, so that expects to take a type, which is a string. Right? Yeah. We're, we're going to pass a type variable to it. Yeah, so that's going to be play sound, and then we pass this with variables. Yep. And then that's going to get a type, and then it's going to be a you type test. It, it... Yeah. Cool. And, and then what we're expecting to get back is a sound from the play sound uh, mutation. Yeah. <clears throat> so to test that, though, don't we have to do kind of like this? Um, data we can expect data or error like let's because we possibly get an error and then yeah we'll be like and just console log it or something oh you got it you got it uh i could do like console.warn console.error ah yeah. cool right and then here we could just kind of uh, with, with graphql errors this is actually like the default behavior you're, you're always going to get oh uh, you're right so let's error. just get rid of it we don't need it, we can omit that. um yeah which will be undefined to start but then it won't <coughs> oh, i'm try to hit the mute button and you fire Sorry, oh man yeah sneezes happen it's okay you're allowed to sneeze on the oh, stream it's fine and bless you by the way <laughs> oh thanks man yeah anytime okay so we've got this it should work wait yeah no this should work Right? What's our subscription look like in the server? So we actually... Uh, uh, it doesn't do anything right now. Right now we're just getting a, uh, a network error, 400. And the idea is it cannot query field on type mutation because I wrote the mutation wrong. I need to actually call play sound with my type variable pass. There we go. That's what it should look like here. Yeah. Now, if I save the file, and you're working on the uh, mutation. Oh, yes, I am. And so cool. it re re so we'll just put an ID in here because it, it, like, need, uh, it needs one. And then. Yeah, uh, I would uh, we're just like date now. So this is like uh, a way to cool. make, a, make I like like that. a unique ID. All right. And then args, uh, I'm just going to spread them. Spread them. Oh, wait, that won't work because that's going to have ID on it, too. So for type, we'll uh, do it. Right. I think, no, I think. Oh, no, this, it's just a type. Like, yeah. Yeah, we could we could also just say, like, destructure type from here. Yeah, that works. And that's, that's cool. That's cool. Uh, one thing that's just bothering me, I'm just getting rid of this because it, okay. doesn't, it doesn't do anything. So we'll just stick with, like, a, a hello. Oh, the sounds uh, query? Yeah, because like it doesn't. We're not actually doing anything with it, and it's. I don't know why. It's just like I don't want it there. 
Uh, what are we going to say? Hi. Oh my god, did you just see how I spell hi? H-Y-E? <laughs> just H-Y. Whatever. Oh. Uh, or better yet, cool. let's do this. There we go. Right. <laughs> the other other thing that we that we could do is if we want if we want to just omit this from our resolvers entirely, we can just replace a hello with uh, this empty empty field like that. That works. Yep. That's awesome. I didn't know that was a thing That's you it. could do. Cool. All <laughs> right. So this is running. So let's do this. Let's jump over to the browser, ye old browser, and here we are. Wait, why do I still have sounds? Play sound. Oh my god, this button does not have any styles. Uh, oh, we're yeah, not, that's really strange. Are we not using the shocker provider? Don't we have to like do shocker provider and like all that jazz? Or no? No, that's that's what the 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 chakra plugin should do for us. Maybe because I didn't give uh, it a variant. No, I think Gatsby plugin shocker UI. Um, let's see what we're working with here. What you working with? I'm gonna fire this off while you do that, just cause. Ha! Okay. Response not successful. Status code 400. Apollo server error. Error. Hmm. Error. I just got ink all over me. Error. Danger, Will Robinson. <laughs> Let's go see what the server says about this. It doesn't say anything. What use are you? Okay. Well, I clearly broke something. Let's see what the what the problem is. So our error is and unknown then... argument type on mutation play sound. So uh, that we're getting that error because we forgot to add the type argument to our play sound. And mutation. so, so just for the chat, just where you went was, here. did you go to the network tab and look? Is that what you did? Yes, exactly. So I just opened the network tab, uh, found the the um, query that that aired and then I looked in the preview tab for See? that uh, for that query Boom, there we go and then you can expand errors and then it, it you can find out pretty pretty quick here what the what the problem is yeah all right so let we go back and then the issue was our type was wrong oh it returns a sound well this should be right now right so now now it's actually uh, yeah now it's good where if you click on back. it Play sound Console. fires, get back a uh, an object for that sound. Boom. Look at that. ID. Test. Okay. Circular. Mm -hmm. Circular. But this is just the mutation, which now we know is working. But now comes the hard part, my friend. Subscriptions. Subscriptions. Yeah. We should do that next. Exactly. Let's do it. So why don't we... Uh, like I think I think the first thing we can do to get our server ready to send subscriptions and accept subscription uh, like connections yes. is yes we have to make a, a slight change to how we're doing this yep. uh, how we're how we're working with this server so um, why don't we, like we might as well pull open the docs um, Apollo yes the server docs that's so funny because that's exactly where I'm going. Yeah, so uh, we've got, so it looks like we can use PubSub right out of Apollo server and then create uh -huh. a new PubSub. So let's start there, right? Step one. That sounds good. All right, so here we are. So now we can just be like PubSub, which is kind of a funny name when you think about it. And then uh, we'll come down here and uh, above our resolvers, we'll instantiate, instantiate counts uh pub sub equals new pub sub i think we got a question hey i've been wondering about this graphql stuff building a mobile app with react native myself right now i'll be talking to sql database right now does it do a rest api i'm caught up to speed let me know when there's more oh, or are you just saying like you've been wondering about it well you're at the right space because we just started from scratch so this is like um, perfect time to dive in. If you follow this little series, it won't have talking to a database, but honestly, that's the same within a resolver. You know, you can configure like to talk to your database the same you would in a REST endpoint. So, mm -hmm. does it make sense um, to try to migrate to GraphQL? 
are there enough benefits? Oof, so many questions there. All right, new pub sub. Do you want to take that while I yeah, well, like, this out? It, it it really depends kind of like what what you value. I think that I think that for for me and the way that I like to develop apps, um, GraphQL it has a ton of benefits. Um, and the great thing about it is that you can actually kind of migrate to GraphQL incrementally. So let's say you already have a REST API. You don't want to rewrite your REST API as a GraphQL API. Um, you know, it, it, would, it might be a too monumental an effort. Well, you can, you can actually uh, use your REST API as like a GraphQL data source. And like you might be wondering then like, well, like what, what's the benefit of that if I just have like a GraphQL layer on top of my REST API? Um, but one of the main benefits of using GraphQL is a, an improved experience for your front end developers. And there's more, uh, more kind of transparency between your front end and your back end in terms of what, what fields your API exposes, what the responses look like, uh, and allowing your front end developers to, to customize in a way like they get to dictate what the response is, uh, that they get back from your API will look like. So it, it, it makes, it makes front end development a lot better. Um, and, and yeah, that's, that, that, that's for me, uh, primarily front end developer, uh, you know, I'm drawn to it for those reasons, but. Uh, like I said, it, depending on what what you value as an engineer, um, those reasons might be different. But there's plenty of them, and uh, folks like Vish, um, folks like Dom, if he's still here, uh, ha might might have uh, more more to say about what what things they like about GraphQL. But I would definitely recommend checking it out. Uh, like Kurt said, I think you're in the right place here. We're we're uh, we're going to be talking about GraphQL for the next little while and every every Monday, Thursday, Wednesday, uh, you know, if you're interested in, in GraphQL, then I'd recommend sticking around. And uh, yeah, Soccer, uh, if you're working at a place that only uses REST, there is a way to use GraphQL somehow, uh, and that would be um, through the use of uh, REST data sources. Uh, a great example. My my friend um, work, works at a company that who who built their whole uh, like API on Swagger. It's like this Swagger REST API, and he as like a Hack Week project, he just converted like the account endpoints to a GraphQL server. So he basically made it you know small scope. There's just a few different uh, REST endpoints that need to be represented in uh, in the context of a GraphQL server, and he just converted the users uh, or like the account management um, portion of his app to uh, to GraphQL using REST data source. Which, uh, if if you look for yeah REST data source on Google, you should be able to find something. Maybe throw in some other keywords in there like Apollo. Um, and you should be, you should end up at the right place. But um, yeah, that's a good example of of using GraphQL on top of, uh, you know, a pre-existing REST project. Yo, not sure how it slipped by me, but real quick, thank you for the follow, Rick Masterflex. Thanks, Rick. <laughs> yeah, we got cool. subscriptions. So we have, and, yeah. We have subscriptions. Check it out, dude. Yeah, I was hard at nice. work. You were. <laughs> We this should, looks great. Okay, yeah, so do you we should probably go, go over, over it. What, what you just did. Yeah. yeah, yeah. So I imported PubSub from Apollo server. Bim, bam, boom. Uh, then we uh, created inside of our types a subscription type with a sound played subscription that is going to return a sound, right? Then we scroll on down a little bit. We instantiated a new PubSub kind of client thingy. And we created a constant just so that we can identify when we send a pub sub message, like that's the connection between when we register one. So then if we go uh, here into our resolvers, uh, you'll notice now that number one, I've updated play sound mutation. I've taken the um, uh, data points that we were returning in response and put them into an object. 
we pub sub it out to that. See, there's that sound played again. And then we got to specify what it is. So it's sound played and then that gets the type. So this is our sound. And then we added the subscription object to our resolvers with sound played. And this is where we just kind of set up this async iterator. And you can do more with this iterator. We're not going to get into it right now. But like if you had a more complex app where you only want to send uh, these events maybe to certain clients, like you want it only to like particular users or only if a certain thing is true, you can add filters to these async iterators. Um, but yeah, that's it. M Y Y N O. Mino 97 thank you for the follow all the follows mm -hmm. i love y'all and uh yeah um uh for jay thank you for for um for answering that for vish um yeah i don't know anything about dot net um so i'm glad that you're able to find that and uh and soccer you're right subscriptions are kind of like socket.io they're a lot like um, it but more graphql -y. we're subscriptions actually use web sockets to um to transmit the data which is the same underlying technology behind socket io yep it's all web and sockets. Kurt, I, I just had a Always i had a question been. here yeah right now we're uh we're sending an array of this oh wait i i i i just remember writing these like this oh maybe or maybe maybe i'm oh my god i just quit vs code accidentally <laughs> Oh, oh no! Yo, that's was it some painful. Was, was it was it my my? You, you didn't like my uh, using <laughs> the uh, uh, singular. And now, like, I can't do anything. Yeah. None of my keyboards are working. Uh, <laughs> all right, so let's see. Uh, no, I I went to hit Command Tab and hit Command Q. So fun time. <laughs> okay. Fun. Uh, by the way, while Kurt's starting that up again, um, I'm, I want to remind the chat if. You have a name idea for our soundboard app that you uh, that you think is super cool. Drop it in the chat. I'm uh, I'm compiling a little poll. Um, so far, we got names like Audiopedia, Audiophile, Jamspam. Um, if there are other names that that you think that we should consider, uh, let us know in the chat. I'll put it in the poll, and we can all vote on it later. I think I broke everything. I can't get VS Code Live Share to work. Maybe I just did it too fast. That's all right. We can take our time. Yeah. It's boom box. Box. I like that. Oh, come on. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to quit VS Code. and. Yeah. Go for it. <sighs> boom. Yeah. Boom box. No, the project mm -hmm. saved. The project saved. Thank goodness for VS Code just saving everything pretty much like by default when you close it. But I'm going to wait. I'm going to like give it a minute to initialize all its uh, stuffy stuff before I start um, trying to do a live share. Good give call. it a second. Yeah, right? Might as well. Yeah, but um, what were we talking about? Names? Names. Um, Names are oh, hard. Oh, uh, you were... Uh, supplying the event name oh uh, as an array as in as an array versus as a singular thing yeah yeah well i just copied it right over uh right out of the docs oh i see so okay you could probably send it without as a singular but i just did what the docs mm -hmm. had right okay um when in doubt follow the docs okay uh but if, if you can <laughs> oh world wake uh yeah. then maybe maybe think of a different name then i don't know what's whoa done. yeah yeah interesting i'm very curious to know what that was and it could just be one of those like weird things where it doesn't um uh like it catches some kind of word that should you know should be okay but, I, but was not yeah <laughs> maybe i i'm looking at the auto mod we we actually have no blocked terms like no manually blocked terms it was completely appropriate uh, yeah. and i don't see anything in the in the auto mod try too, again so i'm not Try again. Try again, maybe. Yeah. Put like a couple dashes in there or something to break it up, and maybe we can try and piece it together <laughs> on the other side. Send it in pieces, yeah. like two letters at a time. Send it in. Send it in Morse code, and yeah. then we'll, we'll decode <laughs> it. Base sixty four encode. Yeah, there. it will unencode it on the in, other in side. Suggestion. Ugh. Okay. All right. So everything seems to Life be share? up and running. Let me try. I'm gonna try it now. There okay. we go. Okay, so now that's working. But now I'm going to have to send it to you in Yield Skype. Oh, and I found out Yi 
Ye is a lie. Well, at least saying it like ye is a lie. It's like an old English, and the Y is actually pronounced like a TH, so it's still just the old Skype. Isn't that wild? Oh. I refuse to believe it. I, re <laughs> I just refuse to actually use it properly and will continue to say ye um, because it's fine. True. Ye old. Yeah, nothing, nothing wrong with believing it, but uh, using it? Yeah. <laughs> no. No, thank you. All right. <laughs> Found that All the right, mutations with refresh queries are so fast that I'm not sure how subscriptions pride any additional benefit. Well, soccer nothing. That's a great point. And guess what? If what you are doing uh, only affects the current client, the one who's making the mutations, they don't provide any benefit. But in this case, we want anyone to open up a URL to this soundboard, smash on a sound, and every other person who has that open for that to go off for them. And that's just not possible with mutations. So that's why we're doing mm -hmm. subscriptions. Unless of course, like everybody was pulling at like, a you ridiculous know, rate millisecond or something like that. Yeah, and yeah. we then had to store the played sounds in some place. Yeah. It, the, 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 the amount of the, in that case, like the, it would just be, yeah, you, you, you're not going to do that. Yeah. Yeah. At um, least I'm not. So, all right, so I got to reshare. I got reshare these servers. Let's see if I can just okay. do local host. Must be valid. Nope. So I have to put HTTP. Uh, you got to do ports. Yeah. Well, I know the port, but I was trying to just do local host without the HTTP part. Oh, I see. And it did not like it. It said no. Mm. Denied. Uh, yeah, Vish. It's it's just kind of like real time uh, event based updates to uh to your ui like yeah so you'd have multiple clients connected to one server and that server then sends out messages to each of the clients versus the other way around like in a polling world like each of the clients would constantly be asking the server what's the set like are there new sounds do i need to play a sound do i need to play a sound Instead, they're waiting back and they're they're listening. They're just listening to the server. And when the server says, "I have a sound for you to play," uh, it does so. That is the best kind of uh, analogy I can make, I guess. Yeah, you're seeing the chat commands on the layout before they do that. That is the power of a, of WebSockets and GraphQL subscriptions. That entire layout is, in fact, a a uh, uh, Apollo server that is running, and then I I respond to the Twitch um, events, which I guess fire off before they update the chat, which is really interesting. <laughs> yeah. Um, okay. Cool. So yeah, you could you could you could put it that way, soccer. Oh, I like that. Yeah, that's a neat way to put that. Yeah. All right. Um. Okay, we're back up, back up and running. I'm sharing these ports with you. We should be a okay to go. So we've got the back end done, but let's do the front end now. Okay. Um, yes. Yeah. We need to In pages. create a. Yeah. Well, before we can even accept subscriptions, we need to change our client instance. Oh, to, uh, we had to add to the have web a, a web socket link. Let me and follow you. So, yeah, for sure. The way that we would do that is first of all, we're gonna go up here and make our HTTP link its own variable. We're also going to need to create a WebSocket link. Um, I'm, I'm actually going to... While you do that... Stop. Yeah, yeah, sorry. Yeah. I'm going to get the Go link to the Apollo Stream Scenes repository since uh, uh, oh, yeah, we got sure. a little bit of interest in it in the, in the chat. Yeah. Because it's open and, source. Um, hell yeah. Um, so let's see here. We need to create a WebSocket link. We can do that using new WebSocket link. Uh, that is going to be coming from web so socket link from Apollo client link WS, I think. Let's see. I believe that's where we go, yeah. Um, we found vulnerabilities. And this accepts a um, 
a URI, just like the HTTP link, and uh, and some options. In, in which case, we're just going to give it URI, same server location, localhost 4000. Hopefully that works. And we'll pass it the option reconnect true. So if if uh, the WebSocket connection ever disconnects, it'll automatically keep trying to reconnect. So if our if our server goes down for a brief period of time, such as when we're making edits and it restarts itself, uh, the WebSocket link will reconnect automatically. Heck yeah. Other thing that we're gonna need, similar to how we supplied an isomorphic fetch implementation to HTTP link, we're going to need to add isomorphic WS, which basically does the same thing as isomorphic fetch in that when it's rendered on the server being called yeah when it's when it's used on the server it returns a like a node based ws implementation and if it's used on the client it just uses the native browser websocket implementation so we can import ws from isomorphic ws and pass this to the websocket link uh web sock socket impl or websocket implementation option so roast toast uh triple six just asked uh is it a feature of gatsby to be able to write react and yeah so gatsby is essentially a static site generator and i mean you can build dynamic apps with it too but at its base static sites uh generator that is built on top of react so you write your pages in react but they'll get compiled uh, and uh, convert it to HTML during a build process, uh, giving you static files. You can also do dynamic apps with Gatsby as well. I mean, in this case, we're kind of doing a mix of static and dynamic where the page is pre-rendered, but the Apollo stuff isn't gonna happen until it hits the client. Um, so, you know, it's a bit of both, bit of both worlds, but yeah, at hmm. its core, it's a static site generator framework built on top of React. Yep. Um, so we've got our HTTP link and we've got our WebSocket link. Now we got join. And the, right, we we join them using this uh, split function from Apollo Client. This is where things get a little a little more complicated, but it's all right. We're we're here. Stick with we're us. here together. We're gonna make it through. Hold my hand. Um, so we're gonna create another link called split link. Boom. And the purpose of this is when when a query gets fired off from Apollo Client to our server. This split function is going to determine which link gets used. Heck yeah. And the way that we do this is we want to check to see if the current operation is a subscription uh, and then we'll, we'll tell to use the WebSocket link. Otherwise, for everything else, we use the HTTP link. And um, so this split function, if, if I, when I mouse over it, uh, actually, I'm not getting the function definition, but it takes Oops. three arguments. The first argument is a function that you yeah, it's not showing. that will return uh, true or false. Um, it's like your your condition, and so this is our condition. Our then the next argument is like the left part of the condition and the right. So if the condition is true, it uses this link. If the condition is false, it uses this link. So in our case, we're gonna write a condition uh, that takes the operation, it grabs the query property from the operation, and we're gonna say definition equals get main definition. This is a, um, a little function that we can import from. Um, Dude, how do you remember Apollo all this? Client utilities hacks, dude. Um, and we're just gonna say uh, we're gonna return our our condition will be if definition kind equals operation definition and definition operation equals subscription like i said this is this is starting to get kind of crazy but 
we're gonna we're gonna we're gonna make it work. Uh, so in this case, this this is basically saying if the current operation is a subscription, uh, then we'll use the WS link, and otherwise we use HTTP link. And uh, so this is our this is our split link, and we can just pass that now to the link property of Apollo client. And that should take care of it for us. Um, I'm kind of just freestyling this. So, oh, I don't know if I'm starting to get this thing where I can't save the client JS. Oh, let me see if I can do it. I was answering a question in the chat. Okay. 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 That, that looks like it worked. Yeah. Nice. What is this getting expression expected? But I think that's just broken. I get it. This I think is, this is VS yeah. trying to lint our JavaScript as TypeScript. Somebody else uh, earlier in the chat asked us if we're going to use TypeScript or JavaScript for this project, and the answer so far is JavaScript. JavaScript. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so with that, I'm going to run yarn start. I want to close. We're going to cross our fingers that this works. I'm not. I'm not yeah, my confidence level is maybe like 80. percent That's pretty high. So, let's see. Let's see what happens. You're rolling, yeah, rolling starts. with advantage. We won't really know until it starts. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, room for error there. While it runs, uh, I'm going to go refill my coffee cup. Once yeah, I yeah. Do it. I'm just going to stare at your seat till you come back. Trevor. Oh, it failed. I'm going to try and fix it. Cannot resolve subscription transport WS. And, ah, so we just need to install this as well. I believe this needs to be installed. Uh, oh, what is um, my mouse doing? So we need to install subscriptions transport WS. Ooh, you were close. Fail. Though. I got it. I got yeah. it. No worries. I'm gonna get. Can't you win there. them all, you know. I'll take you there. No, you can't win them all, but you can win eighty percent of them. <laughs> <laughs> I see. Uh, it works one hundred percent of the time, sixty percent of the time. Okay. All right. Try again. Yarn start. Yarnst. Yarnst art. Is it going to work? What do you think? What are your, what's your confidence level this time? 80%. <laughs> same. This is the same. <laughs> was I was a... bluffing the first time. <laughs> I love it. All right. I think we're going to get it. I think it's going to be good. You know what? Uh, after this, it's probably like a good point. Like if we get the subscription working flow, that's a good wrapping point. I feel like, right? Yeah, I yeah. think so. And then and next, next episode we can do like actually hook up the sounds to, uh, to Buttons. our subscription based app. Yeah. Yeah. And um, so, Last step we'll do though, if it's working, is we'll get this into Git, get it committed, and share the repository true. with everyone in the chat. Yeah. Also, um, what do you think about uh, voting on our on our? Um, Ooh yeah yeah. Page? Share the link in the chat so I can pop that, that open too. Yeah, absolutely. Okay. So how do I? Um, share a link to it. I don't know. Here we go. I got it. Oh, I got so the it. Apps so we, we got four four names submitted. Um, if you could, please take a second and uh, cast your vote. Which name do you like best? I'm gonna cast mine. Ah, uh, we have to fix our link real quick while you're doing that. We gotta fix our link um, because we have HTTP and it needs to be WS for the WebSocket. Oh, you're so right. Yeah, that's fine. It's gonna rebuild. I mean, I'm only right because there we go. And for some reason, our bucket is there. Uh, but it's saying that it failed to connect to our local host port. And I'm wondering if I okay. didn't do something in the server configuration, or are we even running the server? Here's here's the thing. I think that we let's are. try let's try this. I, this is something I've seen before. I think you have to oh, connect to WS. I, oh, we just got raided. I think you're right. But also, yo, thank you for What's the raid, on, Otho? Otho. Yeah, thank you for dropping in. Um, the big homie, Otho. <laughs> yeah. Coming through with the raid. All right. Oh, that um, worked. 
That worked. Um, so now... Also, since 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 you just got here, I'm just gonna reshare this link to uh, yeah to a poll. We're 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 calling on chat to help us name name our soundboard app. We're making a uh, interactive soundboard app. It's gonna be crazy. It's gonna be a cacophony, uh, but it should be fun. If you haven't voted yet, please uh, please throw your vote in this yeah, poll. Yeah, I just voted. I love jam spam because like it's got spam in it. Like spam the chat. You know what I mean? So it's just like there. I'm gonna stop sharing. I don't want to influence the decision. So I stop <laughs> stop sharing it. Um, but yeah. So yeah. Let us know what you think. We would love love to get your votes in there. All right. Yeah, so here- this is this is gonna this is gonna come in handy when it comes time to create a git repo which will which will happen at the end of this of this stream but exactly uh, that that's kind of our that's our our time limit here all right so uh we got the votes coming in just click on the link to do the votes y'all and then all right so this is working our client is set up it seems to be connected but we're not doing anything with the subscription yet right like now we need to actually uh do some updating when the subscription fires yeah, I think I think w- w- what we can do uh, for now is just Say, just hold off here. This is a good stopping point. Well, or... no, I, I think I think we let's let, let's connect to a subscription. Yeah. Um, maybe just like console log when a sound comes in and and I love it. See if we can get that get that going. Do it. I don't even know how to do okay. this. It's been a while. I could do it. I could go copy code out of another repo. <laughs> well, here's one thing that 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 we'll is kind of nice. Yeah. Um, I'll work on the mutate or the the GraphQL part of this. Okay, so yeah, you create our 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 sound played subscription document. What I'm gonna do is um, I'm actually gonna go back and use a query. I'm gonna create a query called list sounds. Um, but we don't have that anymore. Right, we're gonna need to recreate this. I realized. Uh, How come? Well, because maybe maybe this maybe this isn't a big deal, but uh, it, it's gonna be an easy way for us to keep a, like a store of sounds played in our cache because this the use query hook returns a subscribe to more um, function, which allows you to easily. So, ah, like subscribe to an event and then update that query uh, update that query with the the, the subscriptions um, data I think this is just gonna be an easy way for us to like create a create a an array of sounds played basically okay um, so let's just try this um, if you know if, if we decide it's not the right um, thing to do after all, yeah, it's no big deal. We can go with a different, uh, a different approach. But this is the way that I. This is like the way I know know how to do subscriptions. Um, so we'll just say, um, well, we have our our list sounds. So queries. I don't even need this subscription query, do I? I do. Yeah, you still need the okay. subscription. Um, and uh, what we'll do to use this subscribe to more function is I can just go uh, use effect when this component mounts we will um, subscribe to more um, pass in a document prop which is what Kurt's working on called sound played yeah and an update query property which takes how does this signature look like previous or like I it like incoming kind of thing something like that i can't remember let's uh, see subscribe to more um yeah previous and then like the the, the results of our um It'll look like this. We have previous. Uh, this is like the value in the cache. Right. And the second ar- argument, uh, we can destructure from that subscription data. And what we'll do is just return. Uh, we'll say. 
Because we only um, care. We can step on the previous one, no? Like, yeah, don't we just we care go... about the current sound? We do. I, I was thinking that we can just, like, create a list of sounds played during the session. I got uh, it. Which will come in will come in handy later when as we well. record yeah okay okay all right i'm yeah. i'm all about this now it's making more sense okay um and we'll just say gosh uh sounds wait a minute so you know what's really funny is i would have done this a different way oh yeah um, yeah i would have done use client and then literally done like client dot subscribe and then Ooh, pass in the subscription and then just use state and store uh, an array of the events. And then we don't need like an extra query. Does that make sense? Yeah, let's just do that. I, I, this, like I said, this like query and subscribe to more thing is the only way that I've, I've known how to do uh, subscription. Gotcha. Yeah, so yeah. 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 So yeah. let's do this. So like, um, I think it's like const client equals use uh, Apollo client. Yes. Use Apollo client. Right. So this gives us, oops, this gives us our client. Now what we can do is we can also, Oh, thank you. I totally botched that, um, subscription. No, it's all good. So we're going to import some stuff from react. We're going to get use state and use effect. Boom. So we got that. So now we could come in here and we could say, const uh, played set played mm -hmm. equals use state dun, 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 dun. boom and then we can add a nice old effecty effect if I could spell that use effect yep and that's gonna take a function shaboop and then we're just gonna remember to just drop in the old empty array so it just empty fires array. on load and then here we could say uh, client dot subscribe and then we give it the query which is oh it takes options which is <sighs> this is the only thing I have to look up I can't remember here I think it's that's uh, all right yeah uh, subscription we'll have to check Finding but I believe this, is... this would be sound played uh, and then we call dot subscribe hmm. on that. Um, okay. Dot, dot subscribe. And that's going to give us some data. And that's just going to give us each event as it comes through. So here we'll be able to set it. But also we're going to say uh, const unsub is equal to when we call this. And then we can return a nice little function here to be uh, good citizens. Uh, and then you call unsub. I can't remember if it's like you call it off of it. I have to go unsubscribe. Um, so let's actually change the name of this. We'll call this sub. Uh, because okay. Boom, sub to unsubscribe. So that's going to clean up when our effect drops. Uh, and then in here, we can say uh, set played equal to, oh, we're going to have to pass in played now and set played. Um, da, 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 oh, I need an array. So I'm pseudo half pseudo coding this right now, but we'll figure out the rest um, played and then data dot sound played um, dot. Actually, that should be it. Um, that's going to be the thing. And it's going to look something kind of like this. But let me jump to the docs because actually I'm going to jump to what I just had open. Um, Oh, come on. Why is it not going to pop up in here? GitHub. Uh, I'll start from here. I'm just going to go yank okay. it out of how I'm doing it out of the... Actually, I have it in here. Holy crap. I have it in here, too. <laughs> I'm just going to go... Um, Do you, man. Uh, use the bathroom. I'll be right back. Yeah. Oh, I called it Observer. Oh, and it takes... That's it query is that okay we got a lot of fixing to do a lot of fixing to do but it's not so bad let's copy this all right so i'm just going to paste it below and then make the updates so this becomes query cool sound played dot subscribe is right but 
I'm wrong in what it takes. It takes an object and that has a next property that takes um, dun, 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 right and then data is destructured boom so there we go yeah messages data dot chat message you guys have any idea about using Apollo GraphQL with view hey I'm so glad you said that because we actually have an upcoming stream where we look at just that using Apollo GraphQL with view and it's either next week or the week after but um, let me see if this works at um, calendar or no at schedule at schedule will link you to yay so you can go right there that's the google calendar subscribe for that okay so let me get rid of um the example i had client.subscribe client.subscribe query next so this one can go away um data data.chat.message yes okay so we should be in business There's also, I just noticed that there, we also have like a use subscription hook uh, from Apollo client. Oh, you could probably just do that. <laughs> but, <laughs> that that is, a, is a thing. Let's, yeah. let's, let's try this and see, see how this works. Yeah. I think um, the thing about use subscription though with the hook is where it gets hard is we want to store the results. Right. And like mm. we want to update them. And I can't think of a way to do that outside of like an effect. But we need to update okay. this yeah. with um, uh, played and set blade. Boom. Mm. Okay. All right. Cool. That cool, that cool. will effectively though like create a new subscription every time played changes. Uh, every time the reference to played. Oh, but we are changing the reference to it. Yeah. Every time this. Every time. Every time played gets updated. Yeah, you're right. What did uh, I do every here? Time value this changes. Messages. It seems to work messages and client needs to be passed in i don't know if that's true dude played client let's find out yolo okay all right should we try it let's do it all right uh, ba -ba 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 -ba. okay everything's running something break okay so i just fired off a me i clicked too. on the button me too i'm not getting nothing we'll see if the server so or... it's, what's happening is it's it's just creating uh looks like it's just we're, we're stuck in a big loop here now and i think it, it might have to do let's take these out then just to with this yeah maybe maybe what we can do for now is just like console log the the played sound or something like That's that. That's a good idea. Yeah. Uh, I'm just gonna do data. Let's just see what we get. Yep. And and like we'll remove set played because. Oh yeah. Well, yeah. I guess. Yeah. Let's just just remove set played for now. Yeah. I'm waiting for that to rebuild. Sound played null. I'm not getting anything. So that's what's got me tripping. We're not getting anything. Um, So it's not Jokum asked what kind of interactive soundboard are you creating? So basically it's just going to be a board with sounds. And when you press the sound, it will play to all the other clients. And then eventually we're going to get to a point where you can press record and then everyone can play sounds and then you can stop recording and you can like play it back. But to start, um, we're just doing right now, just trying to get it where everyone can be on a soundboard together, making lots of noise. Uh, yeah. Yeah. Okay. So what is going on here? Yeah. I think it has to do maybe with this. Let's see. Sound played returns a sound. Pub sub sound played, mm -hmm. which is our that response. Looks right. That looks correct. It's just going to bounce back the type. And then we return that. That looks correct. We're not getting any server errors. Sound played, sound played. So that seems correct. 
Um, and so then, we oops. are getting a response back from the like the the subscription is firing, is giving us something, right? Yeah. Well, we could check that um, in the network tab. Yeah. Let's uh, let's check it out. Web. So we we, oh, we we get our console log. Sound played no. Um. Yeah. No. It's initializing, and then we do not get any um pushes yeah okay uh oh i see yeah, yeah yeah okay yeah you're right so we don't we're that that subscription is not actually um so while you're looking in there i'm gonna go compare to what i've got going on here okay I'm I'm just remo I'm just <clears throat> replacing the array around your async iterator argument. Um, yeah. Yeah. I uh, know it sh it should work actually. I was looking at this at the function signature. It does accept a single string. Okay, so that's a thing. Um, pub sub publish. Do do do. Did I structure subscribe subscribe? Um, okay, so let's go back to. Oh, you know what's interesting? We are connecting to on Apollo server. We're connecting to slash GraphQL for the web sockets, but do we have to specify the web socket um, endpoint on the server as well? Hmm. No, because then I it would say it can't connect, right? It would be like cannot connect. Yeah. Yeah. Got All right. It. So let um, me compare these subscriptions. Chat, chat. And that comes back as data dot chat. And then I'm going to go look at the server here and just see if we're doing anything different. Okay. Hmm. Yeah, so we do it. Yeah, no, I'm doing the exact same thing. Chat, the name of the event, and passing in the <laughs> response. So that's the same. But let me look at the server setup. Because I think this is okay. where it was different. But I had to do a lot of wonky stuff to get this to work. Oh, so I'm using PubSub from GraphQL subscriptions, but maybe that's because it's an older version of Apollo client. Like, I'm not using PubSub from... Uh... No, it, it should it should work like this. I've, I've done, done it with PubSub from Apollo server. Okay. And then uh... I'm using a new subscription server. Right, but I couldn't do that. I had to do that because of all the weird webhook stuff I had to do. Um... Yeah. Hmm. So let me go check out the old docs. <laughs> bum, 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 bum. Let me see some. Six. Yeah, pubsub.async iterator. We don't care about the context. I don't really care about OAuth. Well, we, we, we care about OAuth. Well, we, we, yeah, we care about we, 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 we like you, OAuth. <laughs> what I mean is... Um, <laughs> I'm, I'm trying hmm. to see the client example now. PubSub implementations. Huh, that did not help. Let me go look at Apollo client docs. Okay. We're going to figure it out. Oh, we will figure this out. Mark my friggin' words, man. Hmm. Yeah, server side. So we've already configured this subscription. Yep, 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 yep. Setting up the transport. Uh-huh, uh-huh. We've done this. We've done this. Yep. Reconnect true. Splits. We've done this. Don't want to authenticate. Executing. 
so here they're doing use subscription. You want to just try that and just see if we can get that yeah, to work? Sure. Might as well. Yeah. Yeah, we might as well. Um, I'm very curious. As well. Okay. Yeah, let's try use subscription. Why not? All right. So okay. let's go back here. Let's see. We're going to bring in. Um, use we just say data equals use subscription. First parameter is the actual. Yep. Played. That's it. Oops. Yeah. And and then in here, I'm just going to go. I was just going to say that log. too. Yeah. yeah. Yep. Okay. Yeah. So let's try this. All right. So that's running. There we go. Yeah, I'm still not getting it. Okay, let's uh, let's just um. Oh, WebSocket connection to GraphQL failed. Error in connection establishment. Where did it say that? Uh, I had that in the console, but let me see. I restarted it. Okay, oh. now I'm not getting that. And then when I press <laughs> the button, still nothing okay. happening. I am flabbergasted. Not right to now. worry. That's okay. That's okay. Oh, I maybe this. the page wasn't saved because, like, it did that weird thing where it wasn't saved on my oh, side. Oh, yeah, there it goes. Hey. Fine. Weird. Oh, now, now I'm getting. Wait, are you? Are you? Can you click it a few times? Yeah. Oh wait. Okay, now I'm getting. I'm getting, I'm getting sound responses. played, but I'm getting Everything null. Everything is null. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Weird. Okay. Weird. So we're, maybe it was we're, working we're before, but we were just getting null, so it wasn't like. All right. Maybe uh, this this is this is really promising though. Okay. Why is response so sound played is coming back? It's got to be something to do with what I did here, on line forty, uh, inside of server. Yeah. Okay, let's see what, um, how do, how do I, how have I done this in the past? It looks uh, just like what I have though, which is the most frustrating part. Yeah. Frustrating. Um, hmm. pubsub.publish yeah with the thing and then you put the object of like what it is and then the response yeah. like um, uh oh, wait a minute wait 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 can we go back to let me look at use i think use subscription might return no it does it's an object data and then it would have that and it would have a loading and then async iterator oh it's from the docs yeah yeah it says an array but um you said we don't need that we can, we can supply either we can try adding we can try changing it to yeah. an array. let's see if that if it changes anything but if you do look at the at the function definition for async iterator it accepts a string or an array of strings so we should be in the clear but let's see so now we're listening again see the thing is that async iterator yes yeah, so we're still getting null the fact that we're getting responses back for our subscription is yeah uh it's good like that that's good okay here's here's actually a, here's a thought i'm just looking i'm gonna look at the um right so right now the problem is likely well actually we don't really know but uh, one thing that I want to check out is, you know, every time I press it, I get like mad responses. I get two console logs. All right. Data comment added. Yeah, that, I guess that should work, huh? Hmm. My own click handler is right variable we know that worked because we tested that 
All right. Result data loading error. Yeah. Hmm. So here's an interesting thing. Huh? Let's try this. So because sound plate is coming back null, like is this just like giving us like some? Let's make that um, like non-knowable, and maybe we'll get an error that will tell us something. Sure. Maybe something's getting swallowed up. Error. Hmm. No. Pub sub dot publish. Oh, wait a minute. Out. It's being console. Oh, you're console logging that now. <laughs> That's the server. Yeah. How's it go? It's working. Mmm, darn it. Sound played. Um, and now, now I'm at the point of like checking for typos, <laughs> hoping, hoping that it's that. But. Yeah. Well, the weird thing is, is like it would all fail. Um, you would think so. Yeah. Yeah. If there was a typo anywhere, I'm thoroughly mm. confused, my friend. And we're running out of time. Me too. Yeah. Oh man, this is super frustrating. That's the word. Frustrating. Out. Strange. It's very strange. Um. Okay. Think. Think. What could it be? I'm so lost. So the fact, the fact that uh, that we're getting multiple. Let me just double check that this is the case. If I click play it, I get back. Like, Are you clicking play? Four I just clicked once and I got four console yeah. logs. Yeah, here's what's weird to me. I'm not getting any, and now I'm wondering if this has something oh. to do with VS Code live share. Dude, uh, one sec. Data loading error. I here here's the thing. We could be getting errors. Boom. And oh well, that's failed to compile. What's going on here? Error is not defined. Things are defined. Uh, loading oh, yeah, is yeah. not defined. Error is not defined. My bad. Let's do that. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, yeah. We can get rid of these imports as well while we're at it. So we're, there's a chance that we're we're actually getting an error and back. It's being from swallowed, a, right? Yeah. But but we're just not we're not we're disregarding uh, I'm it. I'm still so getting let's see. that those are not defined. That's weird. Oh, there we go. Bundle rebuilding, bundle updated. So yeah. So it's not. <laughs> it's not Errors. a. Here's what's weird. I'm not going to touch anything. You fire off. Click the button. Do you get console logs on your No. End? And that's what is not making sense to me. Why am I not right. getting them when you press the button? Hmm. I think it has something to do with us sharing these local hosts. Maybe. Do you want to try uh, right now? We're. I mean, this this is like the last thing on stream right now, but... Why don't you stop the live share? Yeah. Uh, and just screen share. Um, and let's see if that works. Could it? Could it be? Could it be for from us sharing ports? Is that? Do you think that's a? I mean, it's trying to send it to the same person, and that's maybe that's why it's doubling up for you, or doubling up for maybe. me. So let me share yeah, my yeah. screen let's, let's, with let's, you. Let's try doing that. Yeah. Let me eliminating, eliminating the possibilities. So. You're going to stop live share. Yep. Right? Let me go in there and do that. Okay. Uh, okay. So you've left the session. I'm going to, um, okay. So now it's not going to be sharing my ports anymore. So let me go back here. Reload just to be sure. Okay. Undefined. No, but why do I get four, like three or four every time? Right. Why? Hmm. If I were a betting man, I would bet that I broke something. <laughs> Maybe it has something to do with Nodemon? No. I don't think so. I don't see it. Um... Can we, can you, can you put a console log in the 
<clears throat> in the subscribe function there? Uh, inside of here? Yeah. Like, we just open that, like, return pubsub dot yeah. async iterate. Yeah. But subs like, make a console log. I don't know. I don't know what to expect. I don't know how often it's supposed to log or anything. I think only on... Um... Connection, right? Yeah. That's what I thought. Well, nothing, so maybe I'm wrong. Maybe that does fire each time, so let's go fire it off. In the VS nothing. Code terminal. Nothing. Subscribe. There's nothing there. So so something is wrong huh? with this, huh? Something is afoot. Did we forget to do something? I mean, I followed the directions to the T. <laughs> yeah. Let's go look real quick, real quick. Let's go look. Pub sub, Apollo server, new pub sub, subscription, our thing with the type. Resolver, subscription, post mm -hmm. added, subscribe. In our case, it's not post added, it's sound played. But it's still there. Correct. Then in the mutation, they've updated it. They do the pub sub, post added. So it's the name of it with the arguments. That's what we're returning. Mm hmm. Well, um,. Right? I feel like we're doing... Whoa. What's this? Oh, that's if we want to do something specific. This is what you, if you want context. Yeah. But I'm just curious. Let's see if... Like, what are the properties available here? Oh, you're not going to load, just are you? On connect. Path. YOLO. I mean, I'm sure the default is slash GraphQL, but like at this point, I'll try anything. All right. So that's rerunning. Hmm. Psh, 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 psh. Yeah, no. And it's still not console logging. That's the weirdest part. What is up with this? Um, this never gets called. Type desk, type desk. Subscription, sound played. Like, yeah, it all looks good, right? Yeah, and otherwise it would. Uh, yeah. it, <laughs> this, this, this is this is bordering into crazy territory, but um, it finds subscription above query. The other above query, yeah. Let's say, and same thing in overs. Uh, Although that's not going to make a difference. But, yeah, yeah. I, I, you know, eh? I won't write it off. And then the next thing I want to try is I'm going to comment out subscription out of like the resolvers and see if that breaks it. Like, is it not? Right. Yeah. So, boom. Still not running. Still no thing. Let's just comment still this out. Still four times. It'll tell you that it should break. See what is up with that? In type death. Yeah, but not in. Uh... And not in resolvers, and it's not. <laughs> Why? 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 That's indeed. wrong. Subscriptions. No. Okay. Subscription. Uh, new new idea. Let's let's try let's try adding the query, uh, like a like a real query, like a hello query. Yo, if this yeah. is it. I'm going to freak. <laughs> yeah, if this does it, <laughs> I swear to goodness. I'm about 80% sure this will do it. <laughs> I'm just kidding. 
That was good though. I see what you did there with the 80%. Yeah, it's not breaking. This is blowing my mind. Yeah. How is that possible? It's like a bug. Because type def should 100% break because we define something and it's not in the resolvers. Mm -hmm. Okay, try. Let's try doing doing another one. Like, let's just try try not defining that hello query. Uh, or or maybe maybe do like make a, some fake mutation or something. You know? Yeah. Surely this will break. Bro. What is even happening right now? Hmm. How strange, huh? Okay, here's one thing. I just want to try this. Stop Nodemon. Package JSON. I just got to know. Yeah. <clears throat> True. No. What is happening right now? Is it these requires? <laughs> is it like with the ESM something? Uh, it shouldn't be. I've, I've done, I've done this with ESM stuff before. Um, hmm. Let's what what in the world could it be so hang on I'm gonna go here and I'm taking this out okay what is happening what is okay what what happens if you if you leave your hello query in the resolvers but delete it from the yes Surely then you can replace it with something else. I'm just going to see if even this breaks. Okay. Okay. Well, that's Good. at least, well, that's a syntax error because it's like, so you're right. Hmm. Okay. Query hello defined in resolvers, but not in schema. So it works in reverse. That's good. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> uh, let's see then. So let me try something else then. Let's put this back. We've got that. Uh, let's put these here, but comment them out from here. Great. We can probably put node. Yeah, I'm going to put node well. back. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Define the resolvers, but not in schema. I'm thoroughly nice. confused. <clears throat> uh, back at JSON. Uh, node mon. All right. Yeah, at this point, if we're going to continue, I need to take a quick break to use the bathroom. Yeah, um, well, I was, I was thinking maybe, uh, I'm going to flip over okay. to the BRB while we uh, do this. Cause I got, I'm like at the boiling point, like yeah, go for it. balls are floating. All right. One second, y'all. Yeah. <laughs>
right, we are back. Thank you for the patience, folks. Let's uh, let's give ourselves like five more minutes to try to figure this out. Yeah. And if it's not working, we can we can save it for next time. Um. In in other news, though, um, it does appear Jam Spam won the naming contest. Oh, nice. So. Okay. Jam like spam it is. Jam spam, congratulations. Yeah, I like Jam that. Jam spam is the is the the soundboard app. All right, I've mm-hmm. shared port eight thousand with you again. Thanks. Yeah, I'm still loading the file tree. It takes. Oh, you know why? Why what? I'm... I think it's because uh, it's probably like the loading the file tree is probably loading all of node modules as well. Oh, because it's not so under git sense. ignore. No, it's not. We don't have any git yeah. ignores. Bro. Right. That's probably why. Ugh. How, how about this, Kurt? Why don't we set up git, push this sucker to git, add some git ignores, and uh and then wrap it up for this week i like it we can we, we can take take a take a week to try to let this subscription problem simmer oh um, maybe 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 call on uh call on um banner hue for some some help and then um hit the ground running next week i love it yeah i just uh yeah welcome to development y'all <laughs> like <laughs> yeah uh, this I... is it hey on the bright side we have our our loop basically like functioning to some degree. Yep. We press the button. We we're getting some some results and events back. Yeah. It's not exactly what we're hoping, uh, but no. it's uh, but it, it's it's well on the way to uh, it is progress to, to the destination. Nonetheless, and that is what we are here for. Okay. So here is yep. what we're gonna do. We are gonna. Um, yeah, so let's do this. So I added node modules to get ignore, but don't I need to put like a star or a slash or something at the front or end of it? Like, how do I get it to um, um, recognize you can just all do node modules? All all node mod fine, just like that. Um, cool. What else do we want to ignore? Put that, in dot ev? Of, yeah. put that in the root of the repo. It should be good. Yeah, and dot env. Dot env. Okay, it's just not showing up, but maybe because we're not on, on git yeah so yeah you need see. to you need to get initialize a, a git repo in this directory okay you i can just go get it i thought i updated my default settings to go to main but it keeps doing it to master and that is really pissing me off um Strange. yeah and it's showing env is updated um oh that's really weird and it's still not ignoring node modules for real yeah for real for real let me see um get status untracked files dot env index node modules package json yarn lock oh i'm in server uh but still uh, okay oh i initialized in server like a dummy oh i see rm dash uh rf Server dot. <laughs> okay, so now I'm in the right directory. Um, let's do get in it. Okay, okay, now it's ignoring node modules. Um, oh, I think, oh, is this like all broken now? Yeah, it's still got 5K reading here. It's ignoring clients node modules, but not server. Let me refresh. Yeah, this is just not working. Mm. Okay, and there we go. Okay, now... Get ignore is... Yeah, now it, it worked. I added the slash to it, and now they're all showing up as gray. Dot env is showing uh, up it, as gray. Is get get ignore your get ignore is in the server directory. It, it shouldn't be. It's in the root. I thought. No, it, it like it looks. 
It, it looks uh, like it anyway. No, in your there we go. Direct yeah, it's at the root. It is at the root. See? Oh, okay. So let me I do um, get status. Okay. Um, well, it just says server. It doesn't say like what in server. And this is five freaking K. Like, why are these all updated? Well, now, now that looks fine. Maybe just restart VS Code. Yeah, let me try that real quick. Let's just do that. Dear Lord. All right. Fun times. I sure do know how to break things real quick. <laughs> okay. Okay. Looking a little better. 151. Still seems wrong. Yeah. Yeah, it um, but it looks like. Oh, you need to ignore. Look directly. Oh, thank you. The there you go. Um, uh, client. Dot cash. And um, client public, right? Yeah. Another okay. option is is just like you you can add a, a separate get ignore in the client directory, but this this does the same thing. Yeah, this should work. This should work. Yeah. Do I need to restart this again? What is going on with VS Code, yo? Yeah, VS Code is sometimes a little slow. It's normally not though. I don't, I don't have this kind of oh, yeah, something's <laughs> going on with my CPU. It's like way up there in usage. I'm surprised the stream is still holding up. Holy crap, I just noticed that. Yo, 70% CPU usage. This guy's taken. It's still pretty quiet though. Oh, no it's not. That's just my noise canceling headphones. It's loud as shit. <laughs> All right. <laughs> oh, well, this is what we want. 10 files. That sounds right. That's right, yeah. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, Sweet. all right. I'm gonna commit it. We need to create a repo in GitHub first. Yeah. Well, you can commit here, Jam. and then I just push, and then... So this is how I do it. Um, oh, wait. Well, I don't type git commit. That's not right. You type initial commit, <laughs> and then we go boop. Well, normally, I do. Boop. Wow. It is just, like, dead. All right. How about What's this? Dead? I know why. Uh, like VS Code, it's not responding. So here's what I'm gonna do. Oh. Activity monitor. Code. Um, or maybe I close this as well. Like something is destroying my computer. Let's just see what it is. In the activity monitor, CPU. Oh, it's OBS. Sweet. <laughs> that's fun. The usual suspect. Yeah. Okay. Well, that's fine. Uh, all right. So, yeah. Look at this. 1,000% of my CPU. I don't think that's right. Yeah. That's illegal. <laughs> In at least seven states. <laughs> all right. Let's try this one more time. Oh, I actually don't even need... Code for this. You, you might need a newer version of Git to enable the new name for the default branch. That's probably what it is. Okay. All right. Whatever. We'll do it right from here. Initial commit. Let's get some... Oh, wait. Because it's going to go in there, we got to do sparkles. Oh, yeah. Cool, 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 cool. So that's done. Oh, wait, but first I want to um, rename the default branch. So I do need to go to the browser anyway. Default branch. Hmm. 
Wow, what did you do? Get Branch Dash and Master Main. Cool, 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 cool. So now that's done. Now we go to GitHub. New repository. And what's it called? Jam spam? I love it. Jam spam. Yes. <clears throat> That's what we're working with. Spam your jams. Uh, let's do like a, <laughs> a saxophone. Yes. Love it. Public. We don't need any of that. Create repo. And then I copy this. And then I go back to VS Code, get remote, add origin, boom. Get push dash u origin main. And flip it, reverse it. That's and there we go. Awesome. Let me share that in the chat, y'all. All right, cool. <laughs> Hashtag progress. Okay, well, we made it made it this far. Um, we've we've still got uh, this outstanding question of how we be. We should be getting the subscription. We will figure it properly, out. But um, yeah, still need to still need to try to understand. Um, yeah, something is afoot. Something is definitely afoot, but we'll figure it out. We will get it all solved, and then uh, you know we'll next week we'll come back strong. We'll slap the subs, uh, subscriptions right into place, uh, and we'll show them who's the boss. And then uh, that's right. Yeah, that's right. And then we'll build out the soundboard, and it's cool because it gives us some time to kind of figure out what that might look like. What is that soundboard even going to look like? Mm. And then, uh, yeah, we'll we'll take it from there. But yeah, this has been fun, super exciting, great stream. Thank you all of you for joining us. We super appreciate it. Lots of new folks in the chat. Love to see that. Uh, and thank you for all your help debugging. It's much appreciated. Mod programming for the win. Yeah. Nick? Well, uh, with that, um, do you want to tell the folks what is coming up on the Apollo stream in the next week? Yeah, uh, in the next week, so we are going to have Orbit first thing Monday, as always. You can join us and find out what's going on, what's new in GraphQL. Uh, and then we also have, I'm trying to think of if we have a mission briefing next week. You know what? Why don't we go look? Let's just go see okay. what's on the calendar. That is the easiest way to figure out what's going on. And you can just do uh, the command for schedule in the chat to get the link to the calendar at any time. Uh, so let's see. Next week, we've got... Oh, so we just have Orbit and Launchpad. It's a light week for mission briefings. But the week after that, we've got getting started with GraphQL and Vue. So if you are interested in Vue and you're interested in GraphQL, you're definitely going to want to check this one out, folks. You're not going to want to miss that. So light week next week, we just got Orbit and then again Launchpad where we come back and wrangle subscriptions. And the following week, we've got uh, uh, getting started with GraphQL and Vue. Good stuff. Yeah. Oh, and real quick. Also, if you want to join us and talk about GraphQL at any time, uh, feel free to uh, join us on the GraphQL community discord. We'd love to have you there. Love to uh, interact with you there as well. And you can catch us there in between all these lovely streams. Awesome. Heck yeah. Well, with that, uh, what do you say we, uh, I, I noticed that Twilio is live. Ooh. They have a, a game show bubble sort with yeah. Robert Tables. Oh yes, perfect. And, uh, yeah, let's do that. Let's raid. Why don't that we? One. Why don't we raid those guys? Heck and, yeah! Uh, and you guys, will enjoy yourselves over there. Yeah, awesome. Sounds good. You get that kicked off. Let me know when we're going over there. Oh, do I have to All leave, right. or can you do it? You can do it, right? I can do it. All right, yeah, let's well, do it. Um, I'm I'm gonna say my goodbyes, and here they are. Goodbyes. Later, everyone. Later.